Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. Martial God. I can improve the quality of my abilities. Chapter 21. The sound of the car engine kept ringing, but there was silence inside the car. Su Xu turned his head and looked forward, his thoughts wandering in his eyes. Wang Yushan squeezed next to the village student and stayed away from Li Yafei. The village student didn't say anything and moved to the side to make room for Wang Yushan. Li Yafei seemed to realize that she had said the wrong thing and did not say anything else. In this awkward atmosphere, the car drove all the way to a building in the suburbs of Luoan City and stopped. Then several people got off the car and followed Zhao Shilin to register inside. Four people officially passed this assessment and truly became the pre-selectors. After the identity was processed, the four people handed over all their gains. They received a total of 1,014,000 yuan, which was exchanged for a total of 1,014 military merits. Each of the four people divided 253.5 of them. Su Xu directly spent 100 military merits to exchange for 100 black iron crystal cores, and spent another 100 to exchange for a black iron lord crystal core for absorption and improvement. The village students also exchanged some things for themselves. Then Su Xu was preparing to go home. Su Xu, this way. Wang Yushan and Kun Sheng suddenly stopped Su Xu. When Su Xu walked up to the two of them, Marin Sheng subconsciously glanced at Li Yafei over there, and then said, Su Xu, don't take it personally. Su Xu spread his hands, why should I take it to heart? Isn't that asking for trouble? Wang Yushan raised his hand and patted Su Xu on the shoulder, this is the tree I know. We have to part ways for the time being. Let's add our contact information. I'll add one too, I'll add one too. Village student quickly took out his cell phone. After the three of them added their contact information, the three of them went home separately without saying hello to Li Yafei. After walking out of the gate, Su Xu felt that he had gained a lot this time and could take a luxurious taxi. Just as he took out his mobile phone, a luxury business car suddenly stopped in front of Su Xu. The door opened, Wang Yushan and Kun Sheng were sitting inside, and Kun Sheng's voice came out, Brother Xu, get in the car quickly, I will take you to the kindergarten. Su Xu quickly shook his head. No, this is not a bus to kindergarten. I won't get on. Kun Sheng didn't bother to pay attention to him, and directly stretched out his hand to pull Su Xu into the car. Not to mention, this car is not an ordinary luxury car, and I feel extremely comfortable lying on the seat. Kun Sheng was lying next to him. Brother Xu, delete the video of Li Yafei snoring. Some people are destined to be people who are not worth making fun of. Su Xu, I deleted it when I went out. The village student nodded and then changed the subject. Brother Xu, have you ever considered forming a team for the college entrance examination? What do you think of Wang Yushan and me? Can we come back as top scorers in the college entrance examination with you? Su Xu patted his chest. You two are a little bit different, but if I lead you, there shouldn't be much of a problem. Village student. That's what you said. Then the three of us will form a team during the college entrance examination and kill them all. Su Xu nodded, and then they both turned to look at Wang Yushan and asked for his opinion. Wang Yushan was stunned. Why are you looking at me? If I'm not with you, do you have the ability to attack? I'm afraid you can't kill an ordinary cow. After hearing this, the village student jumped up and said, What are you talking about? What are you talking about? We need to hire our lawyer. The corners of Wang Yuxian's mouth curved slightly. Su Xu is just a weak chicken, and as for you, you are just a sandbag. Tell me, without me, what would you do if you faced an ordinary cow? Su Xu said seriously. No, I can tear off the village student's red belly band and fight with it. Break off our friendship. I want to break off our friendship with you. After hearing this, the village student was so angry that he breathed rapidly and almost couldn't take a breath. Ha 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 ha, Su Xu and Wang Yushan laughed unconsciously. In the end, the car took Su Xu home, and Wang Yushan and the village student went to the same school, so they went back together. After returning home, Su Xu was so tired that he stopped absorbing crystal cores. He even forgot about improving the quality of his powers and fell asleep directly. Early the next morning, it was almost noon when Su Xu got up. I subconsciously picked up my phone and looked at it, and immediately saw 108 missed scam calls from the principal Wang Wuchen. 
Su Xu sat up instantly and called back quickly. As soon as the call was connected, Wang Wechen's deafening roar came from the other end of the phone. You kid aren't going to come to school, are you? Today is Monday. Su Xu suddenly remembered and quickly got up to wash up. The mobile phone was thrown on the bed by him, and Wang Wechen's angry voice kept coming from it. Hey, talk. Do you believe me when I call your parents over? Hey, don't talk, are you? Let's see how long you want to pretend to be with me. If you can, don't come to school. Hey, talk. After washing up, Su Xu took her mobile phone and ran to school. As soon as he entered the school gate, the principal Wang Wuchen called, Come to my office. Su Xu had no choice but to go directly to the principal's office. As soon as I entered, I saw Wang Wuchen sitting behind the desk, correcting documents. Su Xu walked directly to the desk and sat down, Principal, what are you correcting? Wang Wuchen said without raising his head, some important approval documents from the school. Su Xu was suspicious, looking at the things in the other person's hands, and read out word by word, stand up, be a straight man, reveal your domineering power with one click, and make her fall in love with your specialty. Wang Wuchen felt something was wrong the more he listened, so he quickly turned over the cover and took a look. He was immediately embarrassed and quickly put it away. Ahem, Su Xu, how do you feel about this mission? Su Xu, Principal, it's okay. I haven't thanked you yet. You've taken care of me. Wang Wuchen was stunned, and then he said, Su Xu, to be honest, I'm very disappointed with your mission this time. I heard that the four of you caught a strange beast lord, a new species, but this is not the content of your mission. Su Xu was surprised. This was true. Their mission was to determine the location of the strange beast gate and keep an eye on it. Once it was opened, they would need to evacuate immediately after notifying Zhao Shilin, because with their strength, it would be too dangerous to stay. Then Su Xu lowered his head. Principal, we were wrong. Wang Wuchen's face was serious. Where did we go wrong? Su Xu, ah, we didn't evacuate in time. Wang Wuchen shook his head directly. No, with such a good opportunity, why didn't you catch a few more? Ah, Su Xu suddenly raised his head, wanting to say something but stopping. Wang Wuchen, also, did you disrespect Zhao Shilin? Su Xu hurriedly shook his head. Principal, I promise not. Wang Wuchen, then why didn't he give you red envelopes? Under normal circumstances, at least one elite crystal core per person. Ah, Principal, why didn't you say so earlier? Su Xu's face was full of regret. He couldn't help but think of the scammers in the black market. What's the difference between Zhao Shilin's behavior and those scammers? Wang Wuchen, who knows what's going on with you? I'm actually not optimistic about your assessment this time, because no one is sure when the gate of the strange beasts in the Luoan Mountains will open. At first, it was estimated that it would be open in about a year, so this time you are just a random task picked by Zhao Shilin. If it doesn't start in a week or two, you will be called back, and of course you will fail the assessment. Su Xu, ah, Wang Wuchen. Generally, the assessment of the pre-selection must be passed many times before it can be successful, and once it succeeds, the superior will reward it. After all, it is difficult to pass the assessment in the pre-selection, which also means that it is difficult to recruit people. Once it passes, the superior will have credit. So generally the superior will give a red envelope to each student who passes, not only for rewards, but also for winning over. After all, you will have to run errands for him for a long time in the future. Su Xu was immediately annoyed. Ah, I was fooled. Wang Wuchen waved his hand. Forget it, go to class. Don't fall behind in cultural courses. Su Xu could only leave in annoyance. When he came to the classroom, Su Xu was extremely unhappy. He felt that he had missed 100 million. He suddenly became a little listless and fell asleep on the table unconsciously. In a blink of an eye, it was time for class, and the head teacher Luo Tianyi walked into the classroom. Everyone subconsciously looked at Su Xu who was sleeping, their eyes full of gloating. Only Su Xu dared to sleep in the class of the head teacher. Luo Tianyi was also confused after he came in. He looked in the direction of everyone's eyes and immediately saw Su Xu who was sleeping. He frowned and walked over with a serious face. Dare to sleep in my class. All the classmates were happy. You are so arrogant at ordinary times, this time you will be skinned. 
expel him, expel him, expel him. Everyone was shouting in their hearts. At this time, Luo Tianyi suddenly took off his coat and covered Su Xu. It's easy to catch a cold if you sleep in my class. That's not good. The whole class was dumbfounded, with unbelievable faces. They all wondered what happened to the head teacher today. Suspected if he was a monster. Little did they know that Luo Tianyi had already known that Su Xu had become a pre-selected candidate. Although it is difficult to get into a key university of monsters, Luo Tianyi can still teach a few every three years. But the pre-selection is different. A few students are selected from colleges and universities across the country as key training targets. At least they will be officers of the special forces in the future. Su Xu can be said to be the first student who officially became a pre-selection student in Luo Tianyi's career. How could he not cherish and love him? Then Luo Tianyi went to the podium to continue the class. However, at this time, the minds of the whole class were obviously not on the class. Intentionally or unintentionally, they would turn their heads to look at Su Xu from time to time. They really couldn't figure out why Luo Tianyi would ignore Su Xu sleeping in class and cover him with his coat. Zhao Yubing was the most dissatisfied with this, so he simply fell asleep on the table. As a result, he just fell asleep and felt someone standing in front of him in a daze. When he opened his eyes, he saw Luo Tianyi standing in front of him, and then a book appeared in his eyes. The book grew bigger and bigger in front of his eyes, and finally fell on his smart head. Snap! Zhao Yubing only felt a sharp pain, and tears welled up in his eyes. Teacher Luo, what are you doing? Su Shu is also sleeping, why don't you care about him? Luo Tianyi was so angry that he pointed directly at Zhao Yubing's nose, can you compare to him? Give me a good lesson. I know, teacher. Zhao Yubing quickly replied aggrievedly. But Luo Tianyi's words made the students in the class more curious, wondering if there was any background behind Su Shu. Then, the appearance of a person immediately filled all the students with hope. The principal Wang Wuchen walked over leisurely, and then turned his head to look at their classroom. This is what the principal usually does, inspecting each class. Suddenly, his eyes suddenly froze, staring at Su Xu's position in the classroom. Seeing this scene, all the students immediately gloated again. Humph, the head teacher can't deal with you, and the principal can't deal with you. The one who felt the most happy was Zhao Yubing, who had already imagined the scene of Su Xu being picked up and thrown out by the principal. Then, the principal came in aggressively and came straight to Su Xu, his face full of anger. How can you sleep in class? Luo Tianyi was about to explain, but he heard the principal continue to speak, how can you sleep comfortably in class? It's noisy, and you keep the same posture all the time, which is not conducive to blood circulation. I'll take him to sleep on the bed in my nap room. As he said that, Wang Wuchen leaned over and hugged the sleeping Su Xu and left. The whole class was dumbfounded again, staring at Wang Wuchen's back for a long time and couldn't come back to their senses. What are you looking at? Pay attention to the class. Luo Tianyi reminded loudly, which brought everyone's thoughts back. When Su Xu woke up, it was already time to go home. Looking at the surrounding environment, Su Xu was very confused. He clearly remembered that he was in the classroom. Could it be that, he was reborn? Only when he went out did he find that he was carried to the principal's lounge. Su Xu immediately felt that something was wrong and ran away quickly. He actually slept in class and was carried to the principal's lounge. He must stand for five minutes. He carefully came to the school gate and was about to go out, but a figure stopped him. This person was Huang Xiaochuan. He saw Su Xu at the first time and ran away. Stop right there. Su Xu shouted and chased after him. Huang Xiaochuan panicked and ran out of the school gate. Su Xu followed closely behind him, then smiled strangely and threw a weak blow to the other party. Ah, Huang Xiaochuan, who was running away, suddenly groaned, then disappeared, and then appeared in Su Xu's arms, and suddenly, the four looked at each other. You chase him and run away, but in the end you can't escape even if you have wings. Su Xu stared at Huang Xiaochuan in his arms, Run. Keep running. Huang Xiaochuan's eyes flashed with fear. Su Xu, don't go too far. Su Xu was surprised. What's wrong with me? I went too far. Huang Xiaochuan was stunned. Then why are you chasing me? And you use such disgusting supernatural powers on me. 
Su Shu raised his hand and patted Huang Xiaochuan's face slightly, making a pa 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 sound. Is it not okay for me to communicate with you? Huang Xiaochuan was frightened by Su Shu's unreasonable words. Su Shu, didn't I ask them to block you at the school gate? Su Shu raised his eyebrows. Did I say that? At this moment, the security guard suddenly came over and asked, What are you doing? Su Shu turned around and said, Preliminary election. Get out. Okay. The security guard turned his head and walked to the side without any intention of coming over. Huang Xiaochuan also heard Su's words, his eyes were full of disbelief, his head was buzzing, and his heart was shocked beyond words. What does the pre-election mean? It means military background. Their Huang family is considered a big family in Luoan city, but compared with the military, it is just a pile of shit. At this time, Su Shu looked down at Huang Xiaochuan again. Tell me, why did you ask people to block me? Are you stupid? So many classmates in school can't stop me, how can those few people stop me? At this time, Huang Xiaochuan finally recovered and said aggrievedly, I want to find someone to block you every day. As long as you can't help it and hurt them, it will be a handle. I can use it to make a fuss. But brother Shu, I won't dare to do it next time. Please spare me. Su Shu couldn't help but raise his hand and pat Huang Xiaochuan's head. Don't say it, your little head is quite smart. Huang Xiaochuan smiled flatteringly. Brother Shu, since I was a child, my family has called me smart. Su Shu nodded. It's true. Then, where are the people who asked to block me today? Huang Xiaochuan hurriedly looked at the few people standing in front of the alley over there. Su Shu, come on, follow me to see. As he said, Su Shu pulled Huang Xiaochuan hard to walk over there. Su Shu used a lot of force, and Huang Xiaochuan's hand hurt. After coming in front of those people, Su Shu suddenly wondered, why aren't they the same group from yesterday? Huang Xiaochuan quickly explained, the group from yesterday didn't want to come, so I called another group of people. After hearing this, Su Shu raised his hand and patted his shoulder hard, good. Very good. Huang Xiao is really smart. Huang Xiaochuan quickly lowered his head and explained, There's nothing I can do. Those people were scared by you that day. Although Su Shu didn't beat them yesterday, he made them lie down for more than a minute without any strength. This minute or more was very tormenting and terrifying for them. The feeling of losing control of their bodies was very uncomfortable, just like being anesthetized. And just because Su Shu didn't beat them that time doesn't mean he won't beat them this time. They were scared, so they didn't dare to come. Su Shu, then what are you going to do? Continue to beat me. Huang Xiaochuan shook his head like a rattle after hearing this. Brother, brother Shu, you are my brother, how dare I? From now on, you will be the boss. If you tell me to go east, I will never dare to go west. Nonsense, the other party can become a pre-selected player with the lowest level E-level ability. What will happen in the future? Following the other party may not necessarily make money, but it will definitely not lose money. Then he immediately rushed to the people next to him, call the boss. Several people hurriedly lowered their heads and shouted in unison, boss. Su Shu waved his hand, don't talk about boss or not, I'm not a gangster, so what? From now on, you can call me dad. Question mark question mark question mark question mark. A group of people immediately looked question marks after hearing this. Huang Xiaochuan hurriedly shouted, What are you doing? Call me. Dad, under the pressure of money, a group of people could only call out reluctantly. Then Su Shu waved and left, feeling relaxed along the way. After returning home and eating, Su Shu quickly took out all the exchanged crystal cores and then absorbed them to improve the quality and ability. 100 Black Iron Beast crystal cores disappeared in front of Su Shu, which made him feel painful. Then Su Shu quickly checked the quality improvement ability. Quality improvement. Quality. D. You can use beast crystal cores to improve the quality of all abilities. The current number of crystal cores required for improvement. 100 Bronze Beast crystal cores. Su Shu's eyes widened. Why does it feel like the requirements for the next level have been lowered? Then he quickly checked the weakness ability. Weakness. Quality. D. Causes 60 seconds of weakness to the target. During the process, the target is completely weak, unable to attack, and unable to use abilities. 
the current quality improvement requires 100 bronze beast crystal cores. Su Shu clearly remembered that it took 1000 bronze beast crystal cores to improve the quality before, but now it only takes 100. Sure enough, the requirements for weakness have been reduced. Wait, if he had first upgraded the quality and ability, and then upgraded weakness, wouldn't he have saved a lot of beast crystal cores? Thinking of this, Su Shu suddenly felt annoyed, feeling that he had missed a hundred million. After being depressed for a long time, Su Shu calmed down, and then took out the exchanged Black Iron Lord Crystal Core and absorbed it. As soon as he absorbed it, Su Shu clearly felt the difference of the Lord Crystal Core. The energy was too pure, and it was obviously absorbed much faster than the Elite Crystal Core. Nothing happened overnight. Early the next morning, Su Shu stretched unconsciously and clearly felt that his ability had increased by one third. After weakness was upgraded to level D, Su Shu could only release it five or six times in a row. After absorbing it all night last night, Su Shu expected to release it eight or nine times. Although this ability has no lethality, it has a strong control ability. If it is released seven or eight times in a row, as long as it is not facing too many powerful enemies, Su Shu will be invincible during this period. After getting up and washing, Su Shu went to school. As soon as he entered the school gate, Su Shu heard a lot of people talking about him. The content was probably about the bet between Su Shu and the whole class. It seemed that someone spread the news, and now many classmates are looking for Su Shu and want to bet with him. For this situation, Su Shu was actually very excited, it's like someone sends a pillow when you are sleepy. Then Su Shu hurriedly went to the classroom to move the table to the playground and wrote a few big words on paper bet whether Su Shu can get into Longyuan Yida. Soon, a large number of students swarmed in. Su Shu stood up and shouted, Everyone line up, come one by one. Those who don't line up will not be allowed to go to the toilet in the future. Although Su Shu's behavior was a bit unusual, they couldn't help but feel that he was giving money away. So they lined up consciously. Su Shu took out the paper and ink directly, and asked without looking up, How much is the bet? The first person hesitated and said, 500 Black Iron Beast Crystal Cores. Su Shu nodded, wrote it down directly, and handed it to the other party, sign and fingerprint. After the other party signed, he took out his mobile phone to take a photo, and then asked hesitantly, what if you can't take it out at that time? Su Shu, don't worry about this. If you can't take it out, I will sell my house and give it to you. If it doesn't work, you can come to my house and stay, and I will provide food and accommodation. The other party could only nod and turn away. Next, Su Shu lowered his head and shouted. Unknowingly, the news that Su Shu signed the gambling agreement on the playground spread throughout the school, and a large number of students swarmed in, and even missed classes. Surprisingly, three classes passed, and no teacher came to stop it. Perhaps, they all wanted to sign one with Su Shu, but they didn't come because of face, so they didn't stop their students. Unknowingly, a morning had passed, and a thick stack of gambling agreements was piled up next to Su Shu, about 9,000 sheets. There was not enough paper on the way, so Su Shu asked Sang Ping to buy a lot of it. In the afternoon, there were fewer people. Until the last one, Su Shu asked without raising his head, how much do you bet? But the other party was silent, Su Shu could not help but look up, and immediately saw Huang Xiaochuan standing in front of him. Why are you here? Do you want to bet with me too? Huang Xiaochuan shook his head quickly. Brother Shu, I just came to see. As he said, Huang Xiaochuan sat next to Su Shu and then said solemnly. Brother Shu, I just heard that our school is about to transfer a genius transfer student with double SS abilities. Su Shu, what a fart. Huang Xiaochuan. What do you mean, Brother Shu? Su Shu, it's none of my business. Huang Xiaochuan quickly explained. But Brother Shu, I heard that this person is specifically for Li Yafei turned around. Before, because Huang Zhang was here, he didn't dare to come because of the status of the Huang family. Now that Huang Zhang has been fired, he wants to come and try. Su Shu spread his hands, then, Huang Xiaochuan. I know that Brother Shu definitely doesn't like Li Yafei, but you hugged her in public before. The first thing that person will do when he comes here is to attack you first to leave a good impression on Li Yafei. 
Su Shu raised his hand and pointed at himself, attack me. He must have the strength to do that. So what if he has double SS abilities? He can only stare blankly when he meets him. Not to mention that he can't attack him, even if he can, Su Shu is weak and powerless, and he will make sure that the other party can't release his abilities. Facing Su Shu, no matter how unhappy he is with Su Shu, he can't do anything to Su Shu. Huang Xiaochuan, I came here to inform you, Brother Shu. He is definitely not your opponent. Su Shu, what's his name? Huang Xiaochuan thought for a while and said, it seems to be Huang Shijun. Su Shu was immediately suspicious after hearing this, also surnamed Huang. Could it be another member of your Huang family? Huang Xiaochuan shook his head quickly. No, their family has nothing to do with us. In fact, the other party is another branch of the Huang family, and a distant cousin of Huang Xiaochuan. During this period of time, Huang Xiaochuan always heard his parents and elders mention this person, and they always wanted to see how Huang Shijun was. In the end, Huang Xiaochuan used his network of relationships to make Huang Shijun fall in love with Li Yafei and take the initiative to transfer to school. The purpose of doing this was to let Huang Shijun and Su Shu fight, so that Huang Shijun could experience the cruelty of society. Su Shu nodded. Well, I know. Seeing that there were not many people, Su Shu packed up and went back. As soon as he returned to the classroom, Su Shu saw Sang Ping sitting alone on the bench, listening to the class eagerly. Seeing Su Shu coming back, Sang Ping hurried over to help move the desk back. Brother Shu, you are finally back. I haven't seen what the desk looks like in a day, Sang Ping said pitifully while moving it. The head teacher had asked him where his desk was during class just now. Of course, he betrayed Su Shu directly saying that Su Shu had moved it away, and he was indignant. As a result, the head teacher chose to remain silent and ignore it, which made him feel uncomfortable. Su Shu, can't you move the stool to sit with me on the playground? Sang Ping, but, I, I, I have to go to class. Su Shu, that's your own problem. Sang Ping was speechless. It was really unlucky to sit at the same table with Su Shu. If it weren't for the scene where he saw the principal holding Su Shu to sleep yesterday, Sang Ping would have wanted to go to the principal to complain about Su Shu. Sang Ping couldn't understand what kind of ecstasy Su Shu had given the principal and the head teacher to make them defend him so much. After putting the desks away, the two sat down. Sang Ping said, Brother Shu, it's okay if you don't sit at the desk for a day. We will be deskmates for a lifetime. Su Shu was suspicious. I think you seem to have a lot of complaints. Sang Ping shook his head quickly. How is that possible? I'm not that kind of person. Su Shu nodded. Okay, by the way, how much did the toilet bring in yesterday? Speaking of this, Sang Ping immediately became excited. More than 40,000 yesterday. Then Sang Ping gave him the 32,000 yuan that belonged to Su Shu. Including the previous amount. Su Shu has earned more than 40,000 yuan since he became the director, and Sang Ping has also earned more than 10,000 yuan. After school in the afternoon, Sang Ping went to collect the money again, which was also more than 40,000 yuan, and the two divided it again. Adding it all together, Su Shu has reached a huge sum of 80,000 yuan. He calculated that in order to upgrade the quality of his supernatural power, he only needed more than 900,000 yuan. The price of a bronze ordinary beast crystal core is 10,000 yuan, and he now needs 100 bronze crystal cores, which is 1 million yuan. A day passed in a flash. The next morning, Su Shu heard the discussion about the new transfer student after entering the school. It was the Huang Shijun that Huang Xiaochuan mentioned yesterday. Su Shu certainly didn't care. If he really wanted to provoke him, he would be rude. Thinking of this, Su Shu unconsciously touched the sack in his trouser pocket. As a high school student, it should be reasonable to bring a sack. After all, he didn't carry a school bag, so he used it to carry books. Not long after arriving in the classroom, the voice of the principal Wang Wuchen came from the radio, all students, gather on the playground. Soon all the students gathered on the playground. Principal Wang Wuchen stood on the podium with a microphone, I will say a few words. An hour later, in fact, the main reason for calling everyone to gather today is that our Luo and Yi High School has welcomed a very outstanding transfer student. 
Now please let our transfer student come up and say a few words. Then he turned around and gestured. After a while, a young man with an arrogant face walked up to the podium and took the microphone from Wang Wuchen. Hello everyone, my name is Huang Shijun. I come from Black Map. My powers are 10 times gravity and firefall. They are both SS level. Before I came here, I investigated Luo and Yigao and found that except for Li Yafei, you don't have many superpowers that you can use, but it doesn't matter. I will represent Luo and Yigao and win the championship in this college entrance examination in the future. At the same time, I will form a team with Li Yafei for this college entrance examination. I hope you won't stop me. As soon as these words came out, there was a burst of discussion below. After all, these words actually meant to look down on all students. Also, a new transfer student actually wanted to team up with their goddess, but they actually asked them not to stop him. Suddenly, all kinds of dissatisfaction began to fill everyone. Seeing that the situation was about to get out of control, Wang Wuchen quickly went on stage and took the microphone, okay, let's adjourn. On the way back, Sang Ping couldn't help complaining to Su Xu, what the hell? It's so dragging. Su Xu, if you have the ability, you can also awaken dual SS level powers. You will also be able to do this by then. Sang Ping was surprised. Brother Xu, why don't you teach him a lesson? Can you tolerate this? Su Xu, you are just instigating me. But the time is not mature enough. Sang Ping's eyes suddenly lit up after hearing this. Brother Xu, you mean you will take action, right? When will the time come? Su Xu smiled. Almost. Soon, Sang Ping knew why Su Xu said it was fast, because Huang Shijun blocked their way on the way to lunch at noon. Huang Shijun didn't even look at Sang Ping, but looked Su Xu up and down, with a proud look on his face, your name is Su Xu, right? Su Xu nodded, it's my uncle. Huang Shijun heard the meaning behind his words, and his face instantly became ugly, keep your mouth clean, lowly fool. Su Xu's face also instantly became gloomy. This was the second time he heard this word. Seeing that Su Xu didn't speak, Huang Shijun continued, Li Yafei has double SS abilities. In the future, she will be the proud daughter of China. You dared to disrespect her before. They are really fools. Things from low-class families are of low quality. At this time, Su Xu suddenly raised his hand and pointed behind Huang Shijun, look, a flying saucer. Su Xu's sudden action and words made Huang Shijun look over subconsciously, but he saw nothing. Just when he was about to turn his head, he suddenly felt a black screen in front of his eyes, and then there were all kinds of violent punches and kicks. Sang Ping looked at the sack on Huang Shijun's head, and was stunned for a while, then he immediately reacted and rushed up to punch and kick. As the two of them were fighting, a yellowish-brown supernatural power fluctuation suddenly appeared on Huang Shijun's body. Su Xu quickly threw a weak one over. Ah, Huang Shijun groaned, the supernatural power fluctuation disappeared, and the whole person collapsed to the ground. Su Xu and Sang Ping continued to attack him. Huang Shijun screamed in pain. At this time, a classmate came over, what are you doing? Who are you hitting? Stop it! How can you do this to your classmates? Sang Ping said without looking back, Who else could it be, Huang Shijun? The man was stunned after hearing this, then took a few steps back, and then suddenly accelerated and rushed over, Get out of the way, I'll kill him. After saying that, he rushed up and jumped up, Deadly scissor kick. Kacha, ah, Huang Shijun screamed violently. The other classmates standing nearby also heard Sang Ping's words, and then rushed over one after another, kicking them. Seeing that there were so many people, Su Xu winked at Sang Ping, and Sang Ping immediately understood, and the two retreated to the outside of the crowd together. I don't know how long he was beaten, and finally Huang Shijun felt that his body had recovered strength, so he struggled to pull off the sack on his head. Immediately, he saw the dense crowd surrounding him. I want you to die. Huang Shijun roared, what's going on, what's wrong with you? At this time, Su Xu and Sang Ping came over with food. Huang Shijun looked at the two of them, his eyes almost popped out. After Su Xu took a bite of the food, he looked at Huang Shijun on the ground, his eyes full of heartache, and couldn't help but say to the people around him, how can you treat your classmates like this? Do you know that classmates should love each other? What did your teacher teach you? Sang Ping also nodded, 
Yes. What kind of deep hatred can there be between classmates? No matter what, you can't hit people. Those who surrounded Huang Shijun looked at the two of them, very speechless, it was you two who started it. Huang Shijun was so angry that he almost vomited blood. He pointed at Su Shu and the others, don't think I don't know. You are the ones who put the sack. Su Shu was surprised. Huang Shijun, don't talk nonsense without evidence. Otherwise, I will hire my lawyer. Sang Ping also nodded. That's right, that's right. We are speaking for you in vain. You actually slander us like this. You really take our kindness for granted. Huang Shijun continued to point at Su Shu and the others. You, you. Su Shu walked to the side with the meal. Don't worry about him. You are kind enough to care about him, but you still say this to us. Tell me, who would bring a sack to school if they are decent people? Will you bring a sack? Sang Ping shook his head. Will you bring a sack? Su Shu shook his head. No. Despicable, the two said in unison, and then sat down at the table to eat. Huang Shijun was almost furious when he saw this, but he was helpless, because as Su Shu said, he had no evidence. Huang Shijun had no choice but to get up and limp to eat. However, during the meal, his eyes never left Su Shu and the others, and the hatred in his eyes could not be concealed. After the meal, Su Shu wiped his mouth, saying, Ping, what do you think of this person? Too much charm is not good. Not only can he attract girls, but also men. Look, there are always people looking at him with loving eyes when he eats. Sang Ping nodded. Brother Shu, you have to wear sunglasses and a mask when you go out in the future, otherwise there will be men who want to stab you in the ass. Su Shu raised his hand and patted Sang Ping's head, what are you talking about? I'm afraid someone wants to be stabbed in the ass. Sang Ping nodded quickly, oh, yes, yes. These words were clearly heard by Huang Shijun who was eating over there, and he was so angry that he almost spit out the food in his mouth. Then he heard the discussion of the people around him. Does Huang Shijun like men? What do you mean by liking men? Be polite, it's called Longyang's love. Spread the word, Huang Shijun likes Su Shu. It turns out that Huang Shijun's claim of coming for Li Yafei was a cover, and his real target was Su Shu. Originally, Su Shu and Huang Shijun were troublemakers in school, and many people still dislike them. So, under the promotion of many people with good intentions, the rumor that Huang Shijun liked Su Shu spread throughout the school in just one afternoon. Su Shu was dumbfounded after hearing it, and was depressed all afternoon. Brother Shu, why don't you just give in to him? Sang Ping couldn't help but come up and say. Su Shu didn't bother to pay attention to him. Amid the mess of rumors, Su Shu finally made it to the afternoon after school. He was originally going to go home directly, but as soon as he walked out of the classroom door, he saw that there were people all over the place. Su Shu might be late for the excitement, but he would never be absent, so he hurried over. After finally squeezing through the crowd, he finally saw what was going on inside. Then Su Shu was stunned. It turned out to be Huang Shijun. At this time, he was looking down at a girl squatting on the ground. There was a red palm print on the girl's face, and the outline of the palm was very clear. At this time, Huang Shijun raised his hand again, I'm going to teach you a lesson today. Don't gossip about others behind their backs anymore. Su Shu understood a little. It should be that the girl talked about him and Huang Shijun behind their backs, and Huang Shijun heard it, so he came up to hit the girl. Snap! Huang Shijun's palm landed heavily on the girl's face, with such great force that she drooled. Now Su Shu behind did not say anything to stop him, but silently took out a sack from his pocket, sorted it out, and went forward to put it on. He also threw a weak one at the other party. Huang Shijun felt his eyes go dark, and then the familiar feeling of powerlessness swept through his body again. He frantically tried to pull the sack on his head, but his movements seemed weak. Su Shu directly kicked the opponent to the ground, followed by a burst of punches and kicks, which made Huang Shijun scream in agony. At this time, Sang Ping suddenly appeared out of nowhere and kicked him a few times. After feeling unsatisfied, he bent down and violently punched his head covered with a sack. Seeing this, the others rushed forward and beat Huang Shijun wildly, and the screams resounded throughout the school. Some people felt that the position was not enough, so they directly pulled the bullied girl aside and prepared to stand in the girl's position and deal with Huang Shijun. 
As a result, as soon as he pulled the girl away, he turned around and found that the position was already occupied by someone who was kicking Huang Shijun violently. Holy shit, why did you take my position? I finally made it free. However, the other party ignored him at all. When he finally found a position and rushed forward, Huang Shijun had already torn off the sack and was staring at him with resentful eyes. Suddenly, the situation became awkward. He quickly turned around, trying to find Su Xu and the others, but it turned out that there were still people there, and they had gone somewhere long ago. Seeing this, he ran away quickly. Suddenly, everyone disappeared, leaving Huang Shijun lying on the ground in a daze. After a long time, Huang Shijun finally came to his senses. He gritted his teeth in anger and couldn't help shouting, Su Xu, I'm not done with you. You fool. Early the next morning, as soon as Su Xu came to school, he heard about Huang Shijun's request for leave. He was a little disdainful and asked for leave after only one day. He couldn't bear the trouble. But immediately, Su Xu received a call from the principal Wang Wuchen, and the other person said, come to my office. Su Xu hurriedly walked to the principal's office. But when Su Xu came to the office, there was no sign of the principal. The door was open, and there were some texts and other things on the desk. Out of curiosity, Su Xu picked it up and looked at it, and then he was surprised to find that it was the school's asset certificate and other information. Su Xu quickly took out his mobile phone and started taking pictures. As soon as the photo was finished, Wang Wuchen walked in with a thermos cup. Su Xu immediately saw the red wolfberry that was about to overflow from the thermos cup. Wang Wuchen also saw Su Xu's eyes, and quickly covered it with a lid, then walked behind the desk and sat down, sit down first. Su Xu sat down and said directly, Principal, if you have nothing to do, don't call me over. I am usually quite busy. Now I am at this stage of my life, which is a turning point. I must seize every moment to improve my strength and cultural achievements. After hearing this, Wang Wuchen's face was full of suspicion. Su Xu, anyone can tell me this, but you can't. I don't understand your virtues. Now the whole Luo and Yigao has been messed up by you. Su Xu, principal, please stop talking nonsense, otherwise I will ask my lawyer. Wang Wuchen directly raised his finger and pointed at Su Xu's nose, you have the nerve to tell me this. It's not easy for a good seedling with double SS abilities to transfer to our school, but it turns out that you are not lucky. You have to ask for leave after just one day. Su Xu, I want to find my lawyer. You are slandering me. What evidence do you have to prove that I did it? Wang Wuchen took out his mobile phone, played the surveillance video that had been dropped, and placed it in front of Su Xu. In the picture, it is the scene where Su Xu puts a sack on Huang Shijun and then punches and kicks him. Su Xu immediately turned off the engine, why did he forget the camera at the entrance of the cafeteria? Wang Wuchen, are you speechless now? Please pay attention to me, kid. Although Huang Shijun is a little crazy, his qualifications are undeniable. Did you know that our Luo and Yigao has four places recommended to Long Yuan Yida? That's because our Luo and Yigao student was the top scorer in the college entrance examination last year. The qualifications of our Luo and Yigao students this year are much worse than last year. I am counting on Huang Shijun to be the top scorer in this year's college entrance examination. This will continue our Luo An's exceptionally high quota of referrals. Su Xu was immediately disdainful after hearing this, isn't it just a top scorer in the college entrance examination? I'll get it for you. After hearing this, Wang Wuchen stood up directly, reached out and took out a piece of paper from nowhere, and placed it directly in front of Su Xu. This is what you said, and I didn't force you. Hurry up and sign this military order. Su Xu was dumbfounded when he saw this situation, and quickly picked up the paper and read it. I, Su Xu, must be the top scorer in the 2001 college entrance examination. Otherwise, I will have a son without a little penis, and I will stay in Luoan and teach at Yigao for 500 years without receiving any salary. Take this book as evidence, if you violate it, you will be struck by thunder from heaven and thrown into the Luoan toilet pit. Looking at the content above, Su Xu's eyes almost popped out of his head. Then he looked up at Wang Wuchen, Principal, is this too much? Wang Wuchen glanced sideways at Su Xu, it doesn't matter if you don't sign. You blatantly beat your classmates at school. 
I can throw you into the pit right now. I'm not kidding you this time. After saying that, he threw a pen directly to Su Xu, I know you have ink pad on you. Su Xu was speechless, and finally, under Wang Wuchen's terrifying power, he had no choice but to sign. At the same time, he also understood that the real purpose of the principal calling him here this time was to force him to sign this, which was really bad. But there was no other way. Su Xu had no choice but to do it as the other party caught him. After signing, Wang Wuchen hurriedly took the paper over, blew the writing on it, and then said to Su Xu with a smile, go to class quickly. Don't fall behind in the cultural class. In the end, Su Xu could only walk away depressed. As soon as he returned to the classroom, Sang Ping came up to him, Brother Xu, that boy Huang Shijun asked for leave. Su Xu sighed, I can't stand the trouble. It's a pity that I brought more than 80 sacks here today. After hearing this, Sang Ping opened his mouth wide and gave Su Xu a thumbs up, as expected of you, Su Xu. Without Huang Shijun, Su Xu was destined to spend this day in boredom. At night, Wang Wuchen had just returned home with his exhausted body when the phone rang suddenly. I took it out and saw that it was an unfamiliar number, so I quickly connected. Hello, Principal Wang, can you make Luoan's abnormal height cheaper? Wang Wuchen was confused after hearing this, what's cheaper? I mean, can the price be cheaper? I know that your school has always maintained a leading position in China, and Longyuan has a huge number of recommended places every time. But your price is a bit outrageous, 960,000 is too high. After Wang Wuchen heard this, he became furious, who told you that Luo and Yigao was going to be sold. Get out of here, I won't sell it for even 960,000 yuan or 9.6 billion yuan. I won't sell it, get out of here. You're crazy. If you don't want to sell, you're still hanging out. Is your brain going crazy? Wang Wuchen, who the hell is hanging out? Get out of here, don't sell it. After saying that, he hung up the phone directly, his chest heaved and he was so angry. Turning around, the phone rang again. When I picked it up, it was a strange call again. Turning around, the phone rang again. I picked it up and saw that it was another strange number. After answering, a stranger's voice came from the other end of the phone, Hello, Principal Wong, can your school be cheaper? Wong Wuchen, I'll be cheaper, go wherever you want. If it's not cheap, it's not cheap. How can you scold me? In fact, it's okay to buy it at the original price. Wong Wuchen was so angry that he almost threw his phone on the ground and yelled directly, No sale, no sale. Get out. The other party seemed speechless after hearing it, you don't sell it and put it online, you are really crazy. Wang Wuchen immediately reacted after hearing it, what did you say? Put it online. But the other party ignored Wang Wuchen and hung up the phone directly. While Wang Wuchen was thinking, the phone rang again. Wang Wuchen quickly picked it up. Hello, Principal Wang, can you make the Luo and Yigao you put up for sale cheaper? This time Wang Wuchen calmed down and asked softly, which website did you see it on? The other party was obviously stunned after hearing this, and seemed to be wondering why the other party asked which website when he put it up himself. But he didn't think much about it and replied, I saw it on the asset auction website, you. The other party wanted to say something, but Wang Wuchen had already hung up the phone. He was just about to go to the so-called asset auction website to take a look, but the phone rang again. Wang Wuchen hung up directly, but then someone called again. Finally, Wang Wuchen got angry and chose to turn off the phone directly, then went to get his wife's phone and clicked on the asset auction website. The first column he saw was the auction information about Luo and Yigao. Wang Wuchen was almost furious. If his guess was correct, the position in the first column required money to be on it. In other words, the person who put Luo and Yigao up actually spent money to get the information on the first column. And when he saw the price, Wang Wuchen almost fainted. 960,000. The Luo and Yigao that he had worked so hard to build was only worth 960,000. And those fools actually called to ask him to get a cheaper price. Are they still human? He clicked in to check and found that there were all kinds of asset certificates and school photos, and the contact information on it was Wang Wuchen's number. Wang Wuchen's first reaction was that someone was playing a trick on him, but who was it? Who could get the school's asset certificate? Suddenly, 
Wang Wuchen thought of Su Xu. In the morning, in order to register for the college entrance examination, Wang Wuchen took out the school's information and used it. Later, he put it on the table and went to pour water. Only Su Xu came in on the way. Thinking of this, Wang Wuchen couldn't help but squeeze out two words from his teeth, Su. Xu. Then he quickly found Su Xu's phone number and called him. Hello, Su Xu's lazy voice came from the other end of the phone. Wang Wuchen's voice was almost squeezed out from between his teeth, what did you do today? Su Xu, I went to school, went home to eat, and just absorbed the crystal core. What's wrong, principal? The school shouldn't care about private life, right? Wang Wuchen, are you selling the school online? Su Xu, how is it possible? Who is it? Who slandered me? I want to call my lawyer. Wang Wuchen, you were the only one who went to my office this morning. Only you have the opportunity to take pictures of the school's information. Su Xu, that doesn't prove it's me, right? Wang Wuchen, I have a way to find the IP address of the asset auction website. Su Xu was fearless. Then the principal, check it quickly, just in time to clear my name. Wang Wuchen, okay, that's what you said. After that, Wang Wuchen hung up the phone directly and called other phones. Soon the result came out. The IP was the school's wireless network, and the mobile phone was Su Xu's deskmate Sang Ping. No need to think, it must have been Su Xu that fool using Sang Ping's mobile phone to post it. Afterwards, Wang Wuchen called Sang Ping again. Wang Wuchen, Sang Ping, I'm the principal. Sang Ping's voice was filled with panic. Principal, the toilet fee was all Su Xu's fault, it has nothing to do with me. And Huang Shijun, it was also Su Xu's sack. Wang Wuchen, after a long silence, Wang Wuchen finally spoke, did you sell the school online? Ah, Sang Ping was stunned, and after a long time, he said in a trembling voice, Principal, it's unfair. It can't be me. Wang Wuchen, I don't think it's you, so, you use your mobile phone to log into the asset auction website, I will tell you my ID later, and you agree to my transaction application. Sang Ping said with a confused face, Okay, okay, I'll do it right away. Then the two began to operate. After confirming the transaction, a certain deposit will be paid to the seller, and then the two parties will further confirm the cooperation matters. After the two of them finished the operation, Wang Wuchen hurriedly asked, Have you received the deposit? Check it quickly. Soon, Sang Ping's voice came from the other end of the phone, Principal, no. Wang Wuchen shouted directly. Su Xu, that fool, used his own bank card. After saying this, Wang Wuchen was stunned and immediately realized that something was wrong. According to his understanding of Su Xu, this guy is likely to spend money directly, even if he risks being thrown into the toilet by him. After all, the other party has always been very courageous. Thinking of this, Wang Wuchen's supernatural power suddenly burst out, and the terrifying aura kept flowing. The surrounding scenes began to change and flow under the terrifying supernatural power fluctuations. In just a moment, Wang Wuchen came to Su Xu's house. At this time, Su's mother and Su Yixin were sitting on the sofa soaking their feet, and they were also stunned when they saw Wang Wuchen suddenly appear. Hello, two adults, Wang Wuchen hurriedly bowed. Su Yixin's face was calm, what's the matter? Su's mother nodded politely to Wang Wuchen, little Wang is here. Come and sit down. After that, she quickly wiped her feet and prepared to get something to entertain Wang Wuchen. Seeing this, Wang Wuchen hurriedly shouted, Sir, don't, I'm here to find Su Xu, no need to entertain me specially. Su's mother smiled and said enthusiastically, How can that be possible? It's not easy for you to come all the way here. Wang Wuchen hurriedly waved his hands. No, 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 I'll leave when I find Su Xu. Su's mother had no choice but to nod and pointed to Su Xu's room, Xiao Xu is in the room. Wang Wuchen hurriedly walked over and opened the door, but found that it was empty inside, and immediately realized that it was not good. At this time, Su Yixin suddenly said calmly, that kid went to the black market. Su's mother was a little embarrassed after hearing this, I was in a hurry to cook before, and forgot that he was not at home. Wang Wuchen's head was suddenly a mess after hearing this. How could he not see that the two adults were buying time for Su Xu, the fool? Quickly used his supernatural power to disappear on the spot. After Wang Wuchen disappeared, 
Su's mother and Su Yixin looked at each other. Su Yixin said, Just spoil him. Su's mother smiled. If I don't spoil my son, who will? Besides, I trust Shuer's character. In the black market, Su Shu, wearing black clothes and a big black hat, walked out of the adult product store with a suitcase in his hand. These are the newly bought bronze beast crystal cores, ordinary, a total of 100. As soon as Su Shu came out, a large group of people surrounded him. Su Shu raised the suitcase. 100 bronze ordinary beast crystal cores, for ordinary silver crystal cores, 8. As soon as this was said, everyone below hesitated. After all, some of them had been tricked before, so they didn't dare to make a decision easily. After a long discussion, in the face of huge interests, several people still discussed taking out crystal cores to exchange. In the end, eight people came together, each of them took out one to exchange. Looking at the crystal cores brought by the other party, Su Shu shook his head directly, Fake, I hope you can show sincerity. After hearing this, the eight people looked at each other, and then discussed again, and soon took out eight silver crystal cores again. Su Shu shook his head again, Two of them are fake, change again. The other party had no choice but to exchange two more. Su Shu nodded, opened the suitcase, and started to click it in front of everyone. After clicking it, he closed it and started to exchange with the other party. Just when both parties were about to take the crystal core from the other party, the other party suddenly stopped. Wait, open your box and trade. Su Shu was stunned, then nodded, okay. Then Su Shu opened the box and put it on the ground, pushing it in front of the other party. Unexpectedly, the other party came forward and threw eight silver crystal cores to Su Shu, and then bent down to pick up Su Shu's box. Seeing that the situation was not good, Su Shu quickly pushed the lid of the box, closed the box, and then pushed the box hard towards the other party. Taking this opportunity, Su Shu quickly took the silver crystal core thrown by the other party and turned around and ran. When the other party saw that Su Shu ran away so quickly, he felt familiar and immediately realized that something was wrong. He hurried to open the box, but found it was empty. I was fooled, Chase. This time, there was not so much time for Su Shu to escape, and he didn't run far at all. The people behind him also caught up quickly. Su Shu hurriedly quickened his pace and went straight into the dark woods. That guy went over there, Chase him. It seems to be him last time. Get lost, don't run. The group of people behind him chased him relentlessly, not giving Su Shu any extra time to escape. At this moment, Su Shu wished he had an ability to accelerate. Then he could make a fortune with this. After all, it was an urban area, the woods were only so big, and there were many people on the other side, so Su Shu was still surrounded in the end. Looking at the group of people who were approaching him in a circle, Su Shu frantically thought about how to escape. Finally, he gritted his teeth and took out the eight silver crystal cores and put them in his hand. Don't come over, if you come over again, I will absorb them all. Do you still think we are fools? How can someone absorb so many crystal cores in an instant? Yes, you think we are fools. Su Shu knew there was no way out after hearing this, and he gritted his teeth, you forced me to do this. After saying that, the eight silver crystal cores in his hand disappeared instantly. Suddenly, Everyone was shocked and rushed forward, surrounding Su Shu. Su Shu spread his hands. Don't think about it, I absorbed it. My ability is to absorb a large number of crystal cores instantly. I also swapped the crystal cores in the suitcase in this way. Also, don't think about hitting me or anything. I'm a pre-selected player. It will cost a huge price to hit me. After listening to Su Shu's words, everyone hesitated. Faced with such a rogue, one of them took out his mobile phone. Hello, is this Momo Ling? There is a liar here. Yeah, yes, he also said he was a pre-selected player. Su Shu was dumbfounded. Hey, don't forget that you are also a liar. You haven't revealed your true colors yet. Shut up, if you don't take out something today, you are not allowed to leave. One of them turned around and said viciously to Su Shu. Then, the person who made the call put down his phone, looked at the other people and said, they said that the pre-selection is not their responsibility and they need to report it to the supernatural army. The others were dumbfounded. They would not doubt Su Shu's identity, because the cost of pretending to be a pre-selection or supernatural army is very high, 
basically zero tolerance, at least the kind of stepping on a sewing machine for a lifetime. Is there any justice in the world? You, a pre-selection, come to cheat our crystal core. One of them shouted angrily. Maybe the things are still hidden on him, search for me. One of them gritted his teeth and said. Su Shu heard it and quickly took off all his clothes, leaving only the mask, hat, and a pair of shorts. Then he spread his hands to the few people, look for yourself. Where else can I hide? Seeing this, the few people gritted their teeth and felt crazy. Indeed, they could do nothing about Su Shu. As for controlling Su Shu and going to the other party's house to find things to pay off the debt, it was not realistic at all, because they themselves were not in the light, and the other party was still a pre-selection, so they didn't dare to move at all. But they were still unwilling to leave, just guarding Su Shu like this. Su Shu simply lay on the ground, and a few people were at random. He liked this kind of situation where the other party was very unhappy with him, but couldn't do anything about him. In fact, Su Shu also had a way to leave, that is, to quickly use his superpowers to knock everyone down, and then run. But that would expose his special ability, which is equivalent to exposing his identity. Unless the other party came to take off his mask at all costs, he would not use this method easily. Bored, Su Shu began to ask someone next to him, how many people can you deceive in a day? I have a friend who was deceived by you. Can you return the crystal core? How do you make those fake crystal cores? Can you teach me? After saying a lot of words in a row, he didn't get any response. Everyone stared at Su Shu with hateful eyes. If eyes could kill, Su Shu would have died countless times at this time. Su Shu, I am willing to pay a high price to buy your method. But no one responded to him, but a familiar face suddenly appeared in his vision. Su Shu was so scared that he climbed up and quickly picked up his clothes and put them on. Wang Wuchen suppressed his anger and said in a deep voice, follow me. Then the two disappeared on the spot, and the group of scammers in the black market were directly confused. After they reacted, they quickly stood up and ran. The strength of the person who suddenly appeared just now was too terrifying, and they were frightened. That person's aura was too terrifying, and he used such a terrifying supernatural power. How could they not be afraid? Luo Anyi was taller. In the principal's office, there was no light on and it was pitch black. Su Shu was forced to sit on the chair, and then a strong light shone on Su Shu's face. Wang Wuchen asked with a fountain pen in hand, name. Su Shu was speechless. Principal, it's not the first day you've known me. Wang Wuchen's face was serious, and his voice was raised a few notes, name. Su Shu, Su Shu. Wang Wuchen lowered his head to record and then raised his head and asked, gender. Su Shu was even more speechless, but still cooperated and said, male. Age, Su Shu, 18. After asking more than 10 questions in a row, Su Shu finally got impatient and stood up directly, principal. What on earth are you doing? Don't you know all these questions? Why are you still asking? Wang Wuchen raised his eyebrows and shouted directly, sit down. Listen to me clearly, you and I are now the plaintiff and the defendant. You can remain silent but every word you say now will become evidence in court. Su Shu said aggrievedly, it's unnecessary. Principal, I didn't do anything. Wang Wuchen looked at Su Shu coldly, I haven't done anything yet. You put the school up for sale online and it's okay. Su Shu shouted directly after hearing this, slander, absolutely slander, who is slandering me? I want to hire my lawyer. Wang Wuchen said coldly, I can check the direction of the deposit through the bank card. It's useless for you to quibble. Don't talk nonsense, return all the things you bought, and I will pretend that nothing happened. Su Shu knew that he could not hide it anymore, so he simply shook his head, I can't pay it back, all the crystal cores were absorbed by me. Bang! Wang Wuchen was so angry that he slammed the table and stood up, pointing his hand at Su Shu's nose, can you absorb a million crystal cores? Are you kidding me? Su Shu, my ability is special. I can absorb the energy of the crystal core at one time and store it. You saw it just now. I took off all my clothes and had no place to hide. Don't doubt that I hid somewhere else. When you came just now, those people next to me came to chase me for the crystal core. They chased me all the way. I didn't have time to hide. 
Wang Wechen stared at Su Xu, and for a moment he couldn't tell whether what he said was true or false. Seeing the other party's expression, Su Xu quickly struck while the iron was hot and said, Principal, tell me, you set a goal for me to be the top scorer in the college entrance examination, but you don't give me anything substantial. How can I achieve this? Your 900,000 yuan should be regarded as an investment in me. Only then can I give you a satisfactory answer sheet, don't you think? Wang Wuchen's mouth twitched. This time he had learned the lesson of Su Xu's fool. The other party obviously calculated everything just to cheat him of the 900,000 yuan. And this money is not a lot, and he doesn't feel so bad. He is just sure that he won't go back. He is sure that he won't send Su Xu to operate a sewing machine for this little money. What a fool, what kind of evil things did I do in my previous life to meet such a weird student like Su Xu? In the end, there was no choice but Wang Wuchen to wave his hand and let Su Xu go back. But Su Xu didn't leave and continued to sit on the chair. Wang Wuchen raised his eyebrows, what? You still want to stay for dinner? Get out of here. Su Xu, principal, it's dark outside, I'm scared. Take me back. Wang Wuchen's mouth twitched again, he was really angry with Su Xu. In the end, there was no way, he raised his hand and waved, and the terrifying supernatural power fluctuations emanated. Su Xu only felt the surrounding scenery change, and then returned to his room at home. Seeing the familiar environment around him, Su Xu couldn't help but sigh at Wang Wuchen's powerful supernatural power. If only he had this ability, then the black market would be free to come and go as he pleased. Sitting on the bed, Su Xu began to check his supernatural power. Quality improvement. Quality. See, you can use the alien beast crystal core to improve the quality of all supernatural powers. The current number of crystal cores required for improvement. 992 silver alien beast crystal cores. Weakness. Quality. D. Causes 60 seconds of weakness to the target, and the target will be completely weak, unable to attack, and unable to use supernatural powers. The current quality improvement requires 100 bronze beast crystal cores. I have to say that today's harvest is very considerable, directly improving the quality improvement ability to sea level. However, after seeing the number of silver crystal cores required later, Su Xu was desperate. 992 silver crystal cores, calculated as 100,000 per core, that is 99.2 million. In other words, Su Xu was cheating in the black market tonight, no, the 8 silver crystal cores traded were not enough. And Su Xu also found a problem. After the quality improvement ability was upgraded to sea level, the number of crystal cores required to improve weakness did not decrease. In this way, Su Xu actually lost money, because he could have improved weakness first, so that his actions later would be safer. Thinking of this, Su Xu was annoyed. However, Su Xu did not dwell on it too much. He went to bed and took out the Black Iron Lord Crystal Core and absorbed it. The next morning, Su Xu came to school and found that everyone looked at him very strangely. As soon as he sat down in the classroom, Sang Ping came up to Su Xu and gave him a thumbs up, Brother Xu, awesome. Su Xu was confused, what's wrong? Sang Ping, it's because you spread the news that the school was put up for sale online yesterday. The school has even issued a notice. But don't use my phone next time. You almost scared me to death last night. Su Xu quickly took out his phone and opened the school forum, and sure enough, he saw the photo on the notice board. Su Xu, a student from class 6, grade 3, sold the school online last night, which seriously affected the school's reputation and had extremely serious consequences. He is hereby given a warning and one credit deducted. At this time, there are more than 10,000 comments below, and countless people are shocked. Most of the comments are saying that Brother Shu is awesome. However, many people are questioning why it is just a warning. Why only one credit is deducted? You should know that last time someone defecated in the principal's office, he was deducted a full nine credits, and was only one away from being expelled. There is also a classmate who calls himself the king of the class and was deducted five credits. This incident is obviously more serious than the last time, but only one credit was deducted. Is there any justice in this? Is there any law? Su Xu would not take it seriously. After turning off his phone, he turned around and asked Sang Ping, have you seen Huang Shijun? Didn't he come to school again? 
Sang Ping shook his head. No. He must still be on leave. Su Shu touched the sack in his pocket and shook his head disappointedly, that's a pity. Wouldn't it be boring without him? What surprised Su Shu next was that Huang Shijun didn't come for three consecutive days, which made Su Shu feel sorry for a while. It was Friday in a blink of an eye. Tomorrow Su Shu was going to sleep all day and night. But just after returning home and eating, the phone suddenly rang. I picked it up and saw that it was from Wang Yushan. A date tomorrow. Su Shu replied in confusion. What date? Wang Yushan. What else can I date? Of course, a date. Chapter 31. Looking at the message on the phone, Su Shu was stunned, and his mind was a mess. After a long time, Su Shu replied, Don't joke. Wang Yushan. Su Shu, actually, I fell in love with you when we first met. Later in the mission, your performance was beyond my expectations. After I went back, I found that I couldn't forget every action, every look, and even every expression you made in the mission. And tomorrow is Saturday, I finally mustered up the courage to send you a message. I hope we can have a future. Su Shu was directly hit by these messages, and sat on the bed for a long time without moving. After a long time, Su Shu couldn't help showing a proud expression, brother's charm is still too great. In the end, Su Shu wanted to reject the other party, after all, Wang Yushan was not his type. But then he thought about it and couldn't bear to hurt the other party, and finally decided to wait until tomorrow to meet and make it clear to the other party. So he replied, where shall we meet tomorrow? Wang Yushan, just wait at your doorstep, I'll pick you up, and we'll go directly to the hotel. Seeing this message, Su Shu was even more dumbfounded. This, this, this is too direct, isn't it? He simply replied, isn't this too hasty? Not good, let's go to another place to have a good chat. Wang Yushan, we can have a good chat in the hotel. Su Shu, too embarrassing. Wang Yushan, what's embarrassing? I, Wang Yushan, like you, and I will never be shy. Be direct. It's decided, I'm going to sleep. You should wash yourself tonight. At this time, in a milk tea shop, Kunsheng was holding Wang Yuxian's mobile phone, and he couldn't hold back the smile on his face. If Wang Yushan wasn't sitting opposite him, he might have fainted from laughing. Have you made an appointment? Does he agree to come out? At this time, Wang Yushan asked. Kunsheng quickly deleted the chat history, then nodded. Of course I agreed, I asked him out in your capacity, how could he disagree? Wang Yushan nodded, took the phone handed over by Kunsheng. Don't forget to bring your phone next time. Really? Kunsheng quickly nodded. Yeah, I won't forget next time. Wang Yushan opened the phone and immediately wondered, why is there no chat history? Kunsheng. I deleted it, I just asked him to go to the gate of the beasts, there is no need to keep the chat history. Although Wang Yushan was confused, she didn't say much, just deleted it. At this time, Su Shu was sitting on the bed and was a little at a loss for a while. He wanted to send a message directly to the other party to make it clear. But he hesitated in his heart for fear of hurting the other party, and his heart was entangled for a while. In the end, Su Shu decided not to think about it, and took out the crystal core and absorbed it directly. But the messy thoughts in his head always made him unable to calm down, and finally put down the crystal core and fell asleep. But he found that he couldn't sleep, so he sat up and took out the crystal core to absorb. Then he found that he didn't have the heart to practice, so he went to sleep again. In this way, it was dawn before he knew it. Su Shu saw that it was almost time, so he didn't sleep, and got up to wash up. The first time he was asked out by a girl, Su Shu must dress up carefully. Although he decided to refuse the other party this time, he had to at least leave a good impression on the other party in terms of dress. After washing and packing, Wang Yushan sent a message saying that she had arrived and asked him to go downstairs. As soon as he went downstairs, the luxury business car stopped in front of Su Shu. Su Shu couldn't help but tidy up his hair. The car door opened, and the village student and Wang Yushan sitting inside came into view. Su Shu was stunned. Why did the village student come too? Before he could react, the village student came up and pulled Su Shu up. Sitting in the car, Su Shu was stunned for a long time. Kunsheng looked at him with a half smile. Brother Shu, why are you dressed so showy when you go to the gate of exotic beasts? 
If Su Shu still hasn't reacted at this time, then he has lived in vain. He pointed at Kun Sheng and Wang Yushan directly. You are teaming up to play tricks on me. Kun Sheng was trying to hold back his laughter, and he almost couldn't hold it back. Wang Yushan looked at Su Shu blankly. Looking at Kun Sheng's expression that was about to be held back, Su Shu also understood, and his eyes gradually became cold. You sent it with Wang Yuxian's mobile phone. I'm not done with you. What's going on? Wang Yushan looked blankly, but Su Shu didn't have time to answer her, and threw the phone to Wang Yushan directly, look for yourself. Then Su Shu rushed directly to Kun Sheng, and the two immediately wrestled together. Wang Yushan didn't understand, took the phone and looked at it, her face became uglier and uglier, and she blushed when she saw the back. Then, she turned to look at the villager who was wrestling with Su Shu, her eyes blazing with anger, and then she joined the fight. Hold him, I'll kick him in the face. Su Shu shouted directly when he saw Wang Yushan coming to help. Wang Yushan nodded and held the villagers' hands and feet. Then Su Shu took off his shoes and kept stepping on the villagers' face. Suddenly, the horrible smell of foot odor rushed straight to the villagers' head, making him feel suffocated. He stepped on the villager for more than ten times, until he was foaming at the mouth, and then Su Shu stopped. I was wrong. The villager said weakly while lying on the ground, but the corners of his mouth were always hooked. The reason why he foamed at the mouth was not because he was beaten, but because of the stench. The smell was so strong that he couldn't even open his eyes. Su Shu was even more angry after hearing this, and he really wanted to kick him a few more times. Wang Yushan couldn't help rubbing his eyes at this time. Su Shu, can you put on your shoes first? Su Shu nodded and put on his shoes. After a long time, the villager recovered and sat back in his seat. Brother Shu, your feet are really stinky. I can't even open my eyes. You deserve it, Su Shu said unhappily. The villager looked Su Shu up and down, and couldn't help laughing again. Ha ha ha, you dare to do it next time. I'm not done with you. After Su Shu said this, he rushed up again, and the two wrestled again. After a long time, he stopped panting. Lying on the seat, Su Shu asked weakly, where are we going? Kun Sheng said lazily, to the gate of Chu Wu. Su Shu nodded, the gate of Chu Wu is also in Luoan city. It is the gate of black iron level beasts. The beast inside is called Wen Yu. It looks like a cow, has great strength, and has a terrifying explosive power. It runs very fast and is good at collision. The disadvantage is that it can only run in a straight line. Of course, this is just an ordinary Wen Yu. Elites or lords will have other means. Lord level Wen Yu can also turn when colliding. Kun Sheng suddenly asked Su Shu again, Do you have the confidence to get a lord level Wen Yu this time? According to common sense, it is basically impossible for the three people with their strength to catch a lord. After all, the number of strange beasts is extremely terrifying. Without Su Shu's special ability, Wang Yushan and Kun Sheng would hardly see the lord. So Su Shu is the main force of the three people, and Kun Sheng and Wang Yushan must ask for his opinion. Su Shu thought about it carefully and nodded seriously. If you take off your red belly band to attract firepower, I think it's okay. After hearing this, the village student's face fell and he shouted, Say it again. If you say it again, I will break up with you. Su Shu, I haven't settled the score with you for playing tricks on me. You still have the nerve to break up with me. The village student, it's not over yet, right? You have fought, and you have smelled my stinky feet, and you still don't want to let me go, right? Su Shu, I will never forget this in my life, I am a very vengeful person. The village student wanted to say something, but Wang Yushan suddenly looked over, we didn't actually prepare anything this time. It's all thanks to your ability, Su Shu, I hope we can gain something. Su Shu, this is simple. If each of you lends me 50 bronze crystal cores now, let alone the lord, the overlord may be caught by him. There has always been an overlord beast in the gate of Chuwu. At the overlord level, the IQ is very high, so every time the beast is cleaned up, the other party is not found. Special beasts are born according to the number of ordinary beasts, so every once in a while, the gate of beasts will be cleaned up to prevent too many beasts from causing a major outbreak. As for whether there are higher level beast kings in the gate of Chuwu, it is unknown. If you go deep, you may find something. However, the king level is still too far away. 
even if Su Xu and his team meet, they can't do anything to him. Wang Yushan and the village student thought about it, and finally the village student said, I have it, but I didn't bring it. Wang Yushan also said, who would take so many beast crystal cores out? Beast crystal cores are generally used for cultivation, and they are not very helpful for restoring superpowers, so few people take so many out. Su Xu could only shake his head in disappointment after hearing this, that's a pity. In this case, the plan to capture the overlord can only be temporarily shelved, and then the three began to talk about some details. Unknowingly, the car drove to a busy street. The three people who were chatting suddenly subconsciously looked up at a place. There were two people standing there, Li Yafei and Huang Shijun. Huang Shijun is such a jerk. He has two SS level abilities, but he doesn't study hard and comes here to go shopping. I've been itching to death these days. Su Shu couldn't help but mutter. As soon as the village student heard it, he knew that this Huang Shijun would definitely not have an easy time at school. After all, anyone who was hostile to Su Shu would be skinned alive. Should we go down and beat him up? The village student took out a giant meteor hammer from behind the seat. Wang Yushan was speechless. You almost want to kill him. Su Shu shook his head directly. Forget it, business is more important. When he comes to school on Monday, I will get along with him. The village student nodded and put down the meteor hammer. The car slowly passed in front of Li Yafei and the others. I don't know if it was intentional or unintentional, but Wang Yushan opened the car window at this time. The breeze blew, ruffling her hair, and she immediately became a beautiful scenery on the road. Li Yafei, who was outside, was startled when he saw Wang Yushan. He also saw Kunsheng and Su Shu. The three of them looked calm at this time, as if they didn't see her, Li Yafei. The car slowly passed by and gradually went away. A mess of thoughts floated into Li Yafei's mind. Since Su Xu was sitting in the rightmost seat, Huang Shijun didn't see him, but he saw Li Yafei's worries, so he asked quickly. Yafei, what's wrong? Li Yafei shook his head. Nothing. I just saw that car a little familiar. Huang Shijun. Well, maybe I saw the same one before. By the way, my teammate who participated in the preliminary assessment just called me and asked me to go to the gate of Chuwu. Do you want to go with me? Li Yafei shook his head. No, I have passed the preliminary assessment. I can't get involved in your mission. Huang Shijun was startled after hearing this. This result was somewhat beyond his expectations. But he immediately said, No, we are not on the assessment mission this time, we just want to go to the Chuwu gate for training. You are a double SS superpower, and you are also a pre-selected candidate. My teammates will definitely not refuse you to join. After listening, Li Yafei thought about it, and finally gritted his teeth and nodded, Okay, I'll go with you. Chu Wu Town is very lively, with constant hawking and team formation. Because a large number of ordinary Black Iron superpowers want to enter the Chu Wu Gate to hunt monsters to make a living, a town has gradually formed outside, and it is also named Chu Wu Town because of the Chu Wu Gate. At this time, a commercial vehicle drove in and drove straight to the Chu Wu Gate. Arriving at the superpower military base at the gate, Su Xu and the other two got off the car to register. Because the superpower gate is extremely dangerous, every entrant needs to register, apply, and pass the review before entering. However, because Su Xu and the other two are pre-selected candidates, they don't need to apply at all and can be approved to enter directly. At the same time, there is a shop for the superpower army in the base, where you can buy some things you need to prepare, and it is also convenient to deal with the harvest when you come out. Unfortunately, Kunsheng and Wang Yushan checked the military merits of the pre-selection, and found that they were not enough to exchange 100 bronze crystal cores for Su Shu. After all, it was 1 million yuan, and it was not so easy for them to take it out. In the end, the three of them could only enter the Gate of Strange Beasts with regret. It must be said that the Gate of Chuwu is very beautiful. The endless grassland is in sight, and the sunshine adds a bit of beauty. Kunsheng said seriously at this time, don't be confused by the scenery inside. It looks safe, but it is not dangerous at all. Wang Yushan couldn't help but roll her eyes at Kunsheng, don't listen to him. I read the detailed information before coming here. The most dangerous thing about the gate of Chuwu is not the beasts, but getting lost. 
Su Shu looked at the endless grassland in front of him and couldn't help but nod in agreement. Indeed, this grassland is endless. Once you are far away from the entrance and exit, you will be confused by the same environment around you, and it will be difficult to find the way back. Wang Yushan continued. Because we got lost so many times, the predecessors marked the route. We must follow the marked route and cannot deviate, otherwise it will be very dangerous. Su Shu and Kun Sheng nodded solemnly at the same time, indicating that they understood. This is a matter of life and death, and it is not a joke, so the two of them were more serious than ever before. The root marks are pits on the ground, which are not so conspicuous because they are covered with green grass. There are eight roots in total. The three of them chose one and started moving forward. After walking for about ten minutes, they saw a group of black cattle. They were densely packed and eating grass on the grassland. At this time, Su Shu said the knowledge points about black cattle in the textbook. Compared to other strange beasts, black cattle are more docile. Generally, when they see people, they will directly attack in groups, knock people to death and trample them into meat paste, and then they will leave. They don't eat people. The village student turned his head and looked at Su Shu, how to do it? Just rush up and kill. Su Shu, if we rush up, at most a few seconds, we will turn into three balls of meat paste. I think it's feasible. Go. Wang Yushan was speechless. Let's come one by one. Stand far away. Su Shu will be responsible for using superpowers to get them over and kill them directly. With Su Shu's special superpowers, we don't need to lure and resist like other teams. When the group of strange beasts rush over, we can just run and kill while running. This efficiency is much higher than other teams. This is why Kun Sheng and Wang Yushan had to go all the way to find Su Shu. His ability is the most important. Otherwise, the two would need to find two more people to team up to barely kill a few ordinary beasts. Then kill it quickly, Su Shu suddenly said, and then threw an ordinary black cow to Wang Yushan. It was said to be thrown, but in fact it was pushed over. Because the black cow was weak, it was easily pushed down by Su Shu. Wang Yushan did not expect Su Shu to be so direct and decisive. For a moment, she was a little flustered and quickly summoned the pear blossom spear to stab the black cow. Puff, the black hot blood splashed, and the black cow lost its vitality directly. Kun Sheng hurriedly stepped forward and dug out the crystal core in the black cow's head. Moo, moo moo moo. In an instant, the black cows in the distance suddenly collectively roared to the sky, and then rushed madly in the direction of the three people. Rumble. The sound of the cows running collectively was deafening, and the ground was shaking constantly. Run. Su Shu turned around and ran first. Kun Sheng and Wang Yushan hurriedly followed. I said we should be farther away before we start killing. Kun Sheng shouted as he ran. When did you say that? Su Shu said speechlessly. Wang Yushan. Stop talking, everything has a first time, no experience. Su Shu. Remember, I gave you my first time, you must cherish me and treat me well in the future. Kun Sheng. It's like everyone else's first time. You took away my virginity. Wang Yushan was speechless. Stop talking nonsense, turn the corner. Their speed was still too slow compared to the black cattle, and only by turning the corner could they get out of the sight of the black cattle. Then the three of them suddenly turned to the side and ran in another direction. Su Shu's eyes turned. Wait, the grass here is taller, let's run on the ground. This way it's easier to get out of the sight of the black cattle. Kun Sheng. It's also easier to turn into meat paste. Although he said so, after seeing Su Shu and Wang Yushan lying down, he also lay down quickly. After turning and crawling for a while, the three of them heard terrifying footsteps coming from behind, and they were relieved. Then the three of them began to crawl forward, moving slowly under the cover of green grass. As they crawled, the three of them suddenly felt something, and when they looked up, they saw a large group of black cattle eating grass in front of them, and one of them was staring at them. Villager, how did you lead the way? Su Shu complained, and without saying a word, he got up and ran. It was obviously you who led the way. Villager also got up and followed. Wang Yushan also got up and followed the two. Moo. A black cattle reacted and called out, and all the black cattle reacted immediately, and rushed towards the three people with their footsteps. Rumble. The terrifying footsteps resounded through the grassland. Due to the huge speed difference, the three were about to be caught up. Turn. 
Just when the black cattle were about to rush up, Su Xu suddenly roared. As if they had begun to have a tacit understanding, the three of them suddenly turned to the side in unison, narrowly avoiding the black cattle that were charging. Boom boom. Listening to the terrifying footsteps passing by from behind, the three of them temporarily breathed a sigh of relief. But they were not safe, because the black cattle that had not yet started to charge were already coming towards the three of them quickly. And more and more black cattle seemed to be attracted by the movement here and were running towards this side from a distance. There were cattle in front and behind, and the three of them were about to be surrounded. Seeing this, Su Xu gritted his teeth, turned around, and in the confused eyes of the villager, he directly tore off the other's coat with force and pulled off a red belly band from his body. Su Xu, you are not a human. In this situation, you are still thinking about taking off my clothes. The villager couldn't help but speak. Su Xu didn't bother to pay attention to him and began to wave the red belly band in his hand. Soon, all the black cattle saw it and their eyes turned red. If we can't see each other again with red faces, then we can only see red eyes. Moo, moo, moo. The dense black cattle suddenly roared to the sky, and then rushed towards Su Xu like crazy. Seeing this, Su Xu threw the red belly band to the village student and shouted, Use your superpowers. After saying that, Su Xu grabbed Wang Yuxian's hand and ran to the side. The village student was holding the red belly band and was stunned in the place. He couldn't help but yelled, Su Xu, you treat me like this. But no one responded to him, Su Xu and Wang Yushan were in a hurry to escape. Kun Sheng quickly released his superpowers, and suddenly, the khaki armor covered his whole body, defending him tightly. Bang! With a muffled sound, Kun Sheng was directly pushed up by a large group of black cattle, and then pushed up again after falling down, and kept falling and being pushed up in the air. Fortunately, he was a defensive superpower user. If it was Su Xu or Wang Yushan, they would have turned into a pool of meat paste. In this way, he was pushed up and down for 20 or 30 times, and Kun Sheng was pushed up to the point of foaming at the mouth. Brother Xu, save me. My superpowers are almost exhausted. As if he heard his call for help, a superpower wave instantly enveloped him, and then he disappeared directly in the air. When he appeared again, he had come to Su Xu's arms. At this time, Su Xu and Wang Yushan were crawling behind a slope, panting. The village student lay on the ground with his whole body weak, and said weakly, I don't want to be with you next time. Su Xu rolled his eyes at him, who cares, you are just a sandbag, what else can you do? Village student, you are still a weak chicken. Do you have the ability to attack? Then the two looked at Wang Yushan and said in unison, you can only attack, nothing else. Wang Yushan raised his eyebrows, if I am omnipotent, what do I need you for? Su Xu. That's right, if I am omnipotent, what do I need you for? Village student, how about you two transfer your superpowers to me? Get out, sandbags. Next, the three learned their lesson and hid far, far away, as long as Su Xu could use his supernatural power. Then Su Xu slowly used his supernatural power to pull the black cattle one by one and kill them. But it was very slow, and the ones he killed were ordinary black cattle. After killing four or five in a row, Su Xu said directly, we killed six in total, and the total is only 6,000 yuan, and each person only gets 2,000 yuan. There is no point in going on like this. Village student, then you can pull the elite black cattle. Su Xu, this black cattle is a little different, I can't tell which one is the elite. Village student, go ask those black cattle. Su Xu was too lazy to pay attention to the village student, but observed carefully. At the same time, he began to recall the scenes he had experienced before. Then he suddenly remembered that every time the black cattle rushed towards them, there were always a few black cattle that were eating grass calmly and seemed to care nothing about them. This is abnormal. Ordinary black cattle will never behave like this. Only those with superior IQ will behave like this. After thinking it through, Su Xu also understood. No wonder the overlord beast in the gate of Chu Wu has not been cleared. It turns out that the other party has been hiding in the ordinary black cattle group, and it is really hard to find. After careful observation, Su Xu directly used his supernatural power on one of the black cattle that looked more special. Then, he got up and ran. Kun Sheng was puzzled. Brother Xu, why are you running? Su Xu said without looking back, 
Run, that's the overlord. His supernatural power was ineffective against it, so Su Shu reacted instantly and realized that the other party was the overlord beast that had been hiding in the gate of Chu Wu. Kun Sheng and Wang Yushan shouted at the same time, and hurriedly got up and chased after it. Mu, a cow cry that resounded through the world suddenly came out behind them. Then the ground began to shake, shaking the three people's bodies unstable and staggering. In just a moment, the shadow of a giant bull enveloped the three people. The three people thought they were finished. At the critical moment, the villager took out the red belly band and threw it to the side. Suddenly, the giant bull behind him went to the side. None of the three dared to look back and ran desperately. But not long after running, the shadow of the giant bull came again. Su Xu had decided to wait for death, and Wang Yushan summoned the pear blossom gun. Even if he couldn't beat it, he had to fight to the death. As a result, at this moment, the villager suddenly took out another red belly band and threw it out. Wang Yushan was speechless. How could there be such a pervert? She was in a team with him. Su Xu even complained directly. How many red belly bands did you bring? The villager gritted his teeth and roared. Shut up, this is a life-saving thing, of course you should bring more. Su Xu, life-saving thing. Why didn't you use it when you were on a mission last time? I think you are a pervert. This is a special hobby, right? The villager was about to explain, and the shadow behind him came again, and he threw another piece out. Su Xu, Wang Yushan. Just like that, after throwing 15 red belly bands in a row, the three finally came to the exit of the alien beast gate. At this time, a few young men came in, Huang Shijun and Li Yafei and others. As soon as they came in, they saw Su Xu and the other two running towards them, and they were also stunned. But Su Xu and the others didn't have time to pay attention to them, and jumped directly into the exit. Huang Shijun couldn't help laughing. Ha 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 ha, isn't that Su Xu that fool? It's really a waste. He was chased in a black iron alien beast gate. It's really useless. Compared to Huang Shijun, Li Yafei did have some thoughts. Based on the situation of the last mission, Su Xu is not a timid person at all. On the contrary, he is very brave. Last time, he was not afraid of the Lord Alien Beast, and finally captured it. But this time they fled so embarrassedly, unless there are too many alien beasts, or the Overlord. Suddenly, the sun was suddenly blocked, and the terrifying giant shadow directly enveloped everyone. Subconsciously looking up, he saw a terrifying black bull standing above them, its huge head blocking the sunlight, looking at them with a majestic look. Except for Li Yafei, everyone else was trembling with fear, and Huang Shijun's crotch was even wet. Run, at the critical moment, Li Yafei remained calm and was the first to react. After she yelled, she turned around and went into the gate of the strange beast. Others also reacted and followed in. Boom, after several people jumped out. The gate of the strange beast suddenly made a terrifying collision sound, shook a few times, and the crack widened a little. At this time, outside the space gate, Su Xu and the other two were sitting on the ground, panting heavily, they were really too tired. Kun Sheng couldn't help it. Brother Xu, go buy a lottery ticket. It only took one moment to find the dominant beast that had been hiding for so long. Su Xu spread his hands. This is called the Chosen One, so you must follow me. One day I will lead you to dominate the world. Kun Sheng and Wang Yushan were speechless after hearing this, and cast a look of disdain at Su Xu. At this time, Li Yafei and the others also ran out and sat on the ground panting. After a while, white hot air came out from Huang Shijun and several of his teammates. Tisk tisk tisk. Su Xu couldn't help but tisk a few times when he saw it. Huang Shijun and the others also realized something and stood up quickly. As long as they left the hot ground, the water vapor would no longer evaporate, and naturally there would be no white hot air coming out. Tisk tisk, where is your mother? It's because you attracted the overlord beast that we became like this. One of Huang Shijun's team members yelled directly at Su Xu and the other two. Su Xu didn't say anything and looked at the village student. Ah, then there was only a groan, and the person who spoke appeared directly in Su Xu's arms. The village student rushed forward without saying a word, and his fist hit the other person's face directly. The muffled sound of bang 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 mixed with screams continued to come. 
Then Su Xu threw the other person to the ground, and his fist followed to hit the other person's face, especially the other person's mouth. Wang Yushan also joined in without caring about her identity as a daughter. What are you doing? After fighting for a long time, one of the other people reacted and hurriedly stepped forward and shouted. Su Xu suddenly turned around and said viciously, If you say anything else, I'll beat you too. The man was instantly frightened by Su Xu's expression and stood there without daring to speak. Huang Shijun and Li Yafei did not move at all, because they knew Su Xu's temper. After a while, the man was beaten black and blue. Su Xu punched him hard in the mouth, causing blood to flow from the corner of his mouth, and then asked, Whose mother did you curse just now? The other party saw this and said viciously, I said your mother. You have the guts to kill me. Brother Xu, use your socks. The village student reminded him. Su Xu first slapped the other party in the face, then took off his shoes and socks directly, and stuffed the socks into the other party's mouth. Ouch, ouch. Not long after the socks were stuffed in, the other party kept retching, and his saliva soaked Su Xu's socks directly. Su Xu was speechless. Is it really that smelly? Village student, you will know if you smell it yourself. Su Xu took off the other one and smelled it, and his eyes rolled up instantly and he fell down. It took a long time to recover, this smell. It's so strong, it goes straight to the top of the head. At this time, the man had begun to foam at the mouth. Village student, will it not cause death? Su Xu quickly took the socks out of the other person's mouth, but it seemed to be a step too late, and the other person had fainted. Are you guys too much? At this time, the teammate of Huang Shijun who had spoken before came over. Su Xu directly raised his foot and inserted his toes into the other person's two nostrils. Suddenly, the pungent smell made the other person retreat again and again. Su Xu, it's really endless. Did I ask you to speak? If you continue to speak, I'll beat you up too. The man was very dissatisfied and immediately turned to look at Huang Shijun and Li Yafei, don't you two care? Huang Shijun looked up at the sky and said softly, the weather is good today. Li Yafei rolled his eyes, why did you provoke him? He is a barbarian. Su Xu was surprised, wild man, who is your wild man? Don't talk nonsense. Li Yafei gritted his teeth in anger, your ears are in trouble. Before Su Xu could speak, the man finally recovered and sat up straight. Su Xu slapped the other party with a flick of his hand, and the other party lay down directly. The village student pulled the other party up again, raised his hand and slapped him twice. Wang Yushan took over and slapped the other party several times. Then Su Xu lifted him up and asked, Whose mother did you just curse? After hearing this, the other party burst into tears, tears falling, Brother, I was wrong, I shouldn't have cursed you. Su Xu raised his hand and patted his bloated cheeks, Be careful next time. After hearing this, the other party nodded his head like a rattle. Then Su Xu stood up, looked at the gate of ugly noon, turned around and asked Wang Yushan and Kunsheng, go in and take a look. Kunsheng shook his head hurriedly, Brother Xu, the overlord is guarding there. Even if Iron Man goes in, there is no guarantee that the original paint will come out. Su Xu touched his chin, I have an idea, let's go in and talk. Kunsheng stood up, we are teammates, isn't it just a overlord? At most, we can lose another red belly band. Wang Yushan didn't say anything, but she stood up directly, and her attitude was already very obvious. Then the three of them walked into the space crack together. Li Yafei looked at the three people who disappeared, and then looked at the teammate lying on the ground with a bruised face and nose, and felt inexplicably lonely. She should have been the only one who followed Su Xu and the others, but because she looked down on the barbarian, all the teammates eventually excluded her. I don't know what the future will be like, but Li Yafei feels very bad now. In the gate of Chuwu, the three of them revisited the old place again. What made the three of them relieved was that the overlord Wanyu had disappeared. Kunsheng hurriedly asked, Brother Xu, tell me your idea. Su Xu, let's find a way to catch a lord, and then take it out and sell it immediately, in exchange for 100 ordinary bronze crystal cores for me, and then we will directly catch the overlord and sell it. Kunsheng's eyes lit up after hearing this, you are worthy of being my brother Shu, this idea is very much to my liking. Then the two turned to look at Wang Yushan at the same time and asked for her opinion. Wang Yushan rolled her eyes, do you think I'm a coward? 
I'll be absent from such an exciting thing. After reaching a consensus, the three began to crawl forward, extremely vigilant. Soon, the three saw the herd of black cattle from a distance. Kunshang, I think we should equip a telescope next time. Su Xu nodded in agreement. We need the one with the highest magnification. After observing for a while, Su Xu locked onto a black cattle and said, Get ready, this one is either an elite or a lord. Kunshang couldn't help but mutter, Don't get the overlord again. Su Xu and Wang Yushan turned their heads angrily at the same time, shouting in unison, Don't be a jinx. Then, Su Xu used his supernatural power, and in an instant, a black cattle appeared in front of Su Xu. Elite, kill it, Su Xu said anxiously. Wang Yushan nodded, and the pear blossom spear that had been summoned in his hand stabbed the black cattle directly. Puff, hot blood splashed, and a big hole was pierced in the head of the black cattle, and it lost its breath. The villager quickly dug out the crystal core in its head and couldn't help shouting, Great! Ready, here it comes again. As Su Xu spoke, another black bull appeared in front of him. Wang Yushan quickly attacked and obtained another elite crystal core. Let's go, change places. Seeing that he was about to be discovered, Su Xu quickly shouted, then turned around and ran. The villager and the other two quickly followed. After changing places, the three of them used the same trick again and hunted down three more elite black bulls. In this way, the three of them continued to gorilla, and one elite black bull after another died in their hands. Unfortunately, they never caught the Lord Beast. However, the three of them were not discouraged at all. After all, the elite beast crystal cores were constantly coming in, and they became more and more excited. After killing another one, Su Xu noticed a very unusual temperament, and then used his supernatural power directly on it. Moo, only a cow's cry was heard, and then a black cow appeared in front of Su Xu and the others. Moo Moo Moo. At this time, the black cattle herd suddenly roared at the same time. That's it, Lord, let's go. Su Xu's eyes lit up and he shouted quickly. Kun Sheng and Wang Yushan immediately cheered up and hurriedly stepped forward to join hands. The three of them just carried the black cow and ran toward the exit. Moo Moo, rumble, the braying of the black cattle kept coming from behind, along with the noisy footsteps, which was very lively. The three people who were running couldn't help but feel lucky. Fortunately, they were far enough away, and they only ran for a while to widen their field of vision. Otherwise, the three of them would have been directly overwhelmed by the herd of cattle. However, the lord is still too important to the Wu Niu herd. At this time, all the Wu Niu heard in the Chu Wu Gate moved, looking for the whereabouts of the Lord. The three of them were inevitably discovered, and then countless black cows chased them towards them. Rumble, the entire ground was shaking continuously, and the terrifying sound made the three people's ears ring. Run, Su Xu shouted, then the three of them quickened their pace again and ran frantically towards the exit. At this time, Li Yafei and Huang Shijun also happened to enter the gate of alien beasts, and then they saw the overwhelming herd of black cattle coming from the distance. As well as Su Xu and three others who were running towards this side carrying a large black ox. The four of them were stunned for a moment, as if they had seen this scene before. Holy shit, here we go again. Huang Shijun couldn't help but open his mouth and eyes wide. The black bull they are carrying seems to be a very high-level beast, otherwise there wouldn't be such a big scene. Li Yafei said. With the experience of the last assessment, Li Yafei knew that Su Xu was so brave that he would never catch just an ordinary beast. And an elite beast would never cause such a big scene. In other words, they are likely to have a lord-level black bull. For a moment, Li Yafei felt mixed emotions. Logically speaking, she is also carrying the black bull with them. A lord beast, not to mention the value, just the honor of catching a lord beast, even if you graduate from college, it will be difficult to get another chance. Look at them now, they have been here for so long, and they haven't even killed an ordinary black bull. And judging from the current situation, even if everyone tries their best, they can't kill a few ordinary black bulls. This huge gap makes Li Yafei feel bitter. Run. Huang Shijun couldn't help but yelled as he saw the mighty herd of black cattle getting closer and closer. He turned around and entered the space crack. The other two followed him in. Li Yafei looked at Su Xu and the other two deeply for the last time, and then turned and left. Not long after they left, Su Xu and the other three finally arrived, 
carrying the Black Cattle Lord and jumping into the Space Gate. The mighty Black Cattle also arrived and rushed straight into the Space Crack, and were about to rush out. At this time, a roar suddenly came from between heaven and earth. Moo! All of a sudden, all the Black Cattle stopped, looked back and around, and then retreated. That was the voice of the Overlord, and it was also an order, and ordinary Black Cattle would not disobey. Not long after Li Yafei and the others came out, they saw Su Xu and the other three carrying the Lord Black Cattle and running out, without even looking at them, and hurriedly walked towards the base of the Superpower Army. Along the way, they also met many superpowers, and they all cast strange eyes on them. This is a Lord-level beast, with three tufts of long hair on its butt. At this time, a knowledgeable psychic spoke in surprise. Suddenly, all the psychics around them widened their eyes instantly. Lord, his strength is comparable to that of a bronze psychic, and it takes a silver psychic team to catch him alive, but now, he was caught alive by these three people who looked like students. It's really unbelievable. Similarly, what that person said was clearly heard by Su Xu and he took it to heart. There is information about this in the textbook, but there are too many types of beasts, and most people's attention is still on high-level beasts. For the black iron level black cattle, people actually pay little attention, and Sushu is of course the same. So I don't know how to distinguish them, but I know it this time. In countless envious eyes, the three people carried the Lord Black Cattle straight into the base and came directly to the pre-selection exchange office. The staff inside were also stunned when they saw the three people carrying the Black Cattle in, and then they started to get busy. Three pre-selected adults, please come this way, the cage is over here. The three of them came to a huge cage and threw the Lord Black Bull into it, then sat down on the ground and gasped. It must be said that the weight of this Black Bull was already the limit for the three of them. They almost couldn't carry them all the way out. The staff next to them saw the three people in this state, and they didn't mention going to the counter to register, and they registered directly here. Please show your ID numbers, adults. We can exchange military merits for the three adults. Su Xu said directly. Exchange all of them into bronze ordinary crystal cores. The staff was also stunned after hearing this. If he hadn't seen the three people carrying the black bull in with his own eyes, he would have thought they were three idiots. Who would be willing to use crystal cores to exchange ordinary beast crystal cores? Either exchange for rare living beasts, or exchange for advanced crystal cores for absorption and improvement. This kind of direct exchange of ordinary beast crystal cores is the first time he has seen since he started working. However, after seeing the village student and Wang Yushan nod, the staff member was speechless, but he didn't say much and went straight to register. Okay, I have recorded the needs of the three adults, and I will send the crystal core to you later. After saying that, he went out directly. After the three people had rested for a while, the staff member also brought the crystal core. The village student looked at Su Shu and couldn't help but get excited. Brother Shu, the things are ready, are you sure? Su Shu nodded. I'm sure I'll definitely be very sure. If I don't succeed, I'll have a feast. The village student. Brother Shu, don't joke. Overlord, it's hard for our principal to catch a live one. If I succeed, then I can let the principal carry me in school in the future. At this time, Wang Yushan tapped her phone next to her. I recorded it, I'll tell the principal when I get back. The village student. Sister Xi'an, don't. The principal and my father are friends. If my father knows about this, I will be hung on a tree and beaten with seven wolves. Wang Yushan said viciously, it's good to be afraid. If you dare to do something excessive in the future, I will let the principal listen. The village student patted his chest quickly. Don't worry, I am the most serious village student and will never do anything excessive. Wang Yushan rolled her eyes and didn't believe the village student's words at all. At this time, Su Xu had absorbed all the bronze crystal cores. At this time, the weak and powerless supernatural power has changed again. Weakness, quality, C, causes 120 seconds of weakness to the target. During the process, the target is completely weak, unable to attack, and unable to use powers. Currently, the quality improvement requires, 1000 silver alien beast crystal cores. This improvement can be said to be huge. Not only does the weakening time reach 2 minutes, but it should also be effective against the Black Iron Overlord alien beast. This will lay the foundation for this plan to capture the Overlord. 
Then Su Xu stood up directly, let's go in again. Kun Sheng and Wang Yushan also got up excitedly after hearing this, and the three of them walked outside together. As they passed by, the surrounding supernatural beings all cast admiring glances at the three of them. The village student raised his head to the sky. All the way to the gate of alien beasts, I met Li Yafei and the others again. The three of them walked in without even looking at them. Huang Shijun gritted his teeth when he saw this. Let's go in, they dare to go in, why don't we dare? Li Yafei, we must seize the time this time and try to kill as many black cattle as possible before they cause trouble, otherwise this trip will be in vain. But just as he was about to go in, he saw Su Xu and three others coming out again, and then heard the village student say. Brother Xu, please help me pull my neck back, it's twisted. Su Xu was speechless. You stand taller. You look like you have never seen the world. As expected of the village chief, he looks like a country bumpkin. Wang Yushan couldn't help but complain. After all the talk, the two of them quickly stepped forward to help the village student break his neck. Then, the three of them walked directly to the group of superpowers waiting outside and said, is there anyone willing to join us? It's 10,000 yuan per trip. You don't need to fight, just help. We need 10 people. As soon as these words came out, the whole place was quiet, and then the crowd was boiling. I am willing to join. Add me, I'm strong. I am willing to join, my superpower is transformation, I can be male or female. I am willing to. At this time, the teammate next to Li Yafei and Huang Shijun also suddenly raised his hand and shouted. Suddenly, Li Yafei and the other two cast murderous eyes at him, and the man quickly retracted his hand. At this time, Su Xu spoke again. Superpowers are power type first, come and register with me. After screening, the three of them quickly selected ten people, and then led the mighty into the gate of the beasts. As soon as he came in, Su Xu explained some precautions to everyone. The most important thing to note is that without orders, you must not stay away from the crowd, you must not act privately, and you must not use superpowers without authorization. The reason why these ten people were asked to come was because after the three of them came in, they suddenly thought that if they really caught the overlord Black Bull, could they, just three people, lift it out? After all, the overlord beast just now was just of ordinary weight, and it almost sent the three of them away. And they had seen the overlord body before. It was so huge, and its weight must have reached a very terrifying level. Not to mention lifting it, it would be crushed to death. Therefore, the three of them thought of recruiting some people to help, which led to the scene just now. Next, a group of thirteen people began to act as Voldemort in the Gate of Chuwu. Originally, the ten people thought that after following in, they would immediately engage in a vigorous battle, but they crawled on the grass for four or five hours, and did not see Su Xu and the others make any moves, and did not even kill an ordinary black bull. Gradually, some people began to lose patience and couldn't help asking Su Xu, Boss, how long do we have to wait? Su Xu glanced at the sky. I observed the stars at night and found that the time is not ripe yet. The man looked up at the clear blue sky and was speechless for a while. What the hell is the starry sky? The village student also spoke calmly at this time. Young men, don't be impatient when doing anything. You can't eat hot tofu in a hurry. Be patient. The ten people were speechless after hearing this. Who are they calling young men? Most of them are in their thirties and forties. They are all restricted by the quality of their supernatural powers, so they have achieved nothing until now. Now, they are called young men by this young man. They look younger in an instant. But out of respect for the ability of the three to capture the Lord, they did not refute. After observing for a while, Su Xu took them to another place and observed another group of black cattle. In this way, it was repeated more than ten times. Even Su Xu was a little impatient and couldn't help frowning, it shouldn't be, why can't I find the one with four tufts of long hair, did it run away? The village student shook his head, it's impossible, the lord and the overlord have their own territory, it's impossible for them to leave. This is the fixed habit of the beasts, and it's the same in every gate of the beasts, and it can't be changed. Su Xu, but I saw three lords with three tufts of hair, but I didn't see the one with four tufts of hair. Wang Yushan said softly, take your time, the overlord is not that easy to catch. Tomorrow is Sunday, and there is no school. At worst, I will look for it tomorrow. 
Su Shu and the village student agreed after hearing this, and then continued to look for it. As if to confirm what Wang Yushan said, the thirteen people lay in the grass for a night, and everyone felt exhausted physically and mentally. The villager stared at the two dark circles and complained. Wang Yushan, you are such a badass, you really have to use my Sunday to find it. Wang Yushan rolled her eyes. You are the only one who used it. While the two were talking, a person behind them stood up directly, I won't waste time with you. I thought I came in to help catch the Lord, but I ended up lying here all night. Then someone else stood up. That's right, following you like playing house, what's the point of lying here all the time? Su Shu looked at them and said softly. I won't stop you, but what I want to say is that the opportunity is rare. If you really catch the overlord this time, it will be the glory that will accompany you for the rest of your life, enough capital to brag about for the rest of your life. But once you miss this opportunity, you are destined to be mediocre for the rest of your life, and bragging will be useless. It's better to fight for it so that you won't regret it in the second half of your life, or continue to fight for a possibility you can choose it yourself. After hearing this, the two stood still, with doubts and hesitation in their eyes. Indeed, their special qualities destined them to live an ordinary life. If they missed this opportunity, they would not be able to get in touch with the Overlord, let alone the Lord. The eight people who had been lying there without moving had seen through this, so no matter how hard or tired they were, no matter how anxious and unhappy they were, they did not move. The reason why they followed in so eagerly this time was not to win the glory. And at first they thought they were coming in to catch the Lord, and later they heard from Su Shu that they were coming to catch the Overlord, which made them even more excited. In the end, the two men still lay down and did not choose to leave, and they did not want to miss this opportunity. In a blink of an eye, a morning passed, and they were destined to have no gains. After such a long time, the thirteen people basically searched the black cattle herd near the entrance and exit, but found nothing. It was afternoon again, but there was still no trace. Seeing that the sun was about to set, everyone began to get anxious. Even the village students couldn't help it. Brother Shu, is it possible? Su Shu thought and said, I thought of a question in the morning. Since the overlord has four tufts of hair on his butt, but after so many big cleanups, the other party has always existed and has not been cleaned up. There is no record of the overlord beast unearthed in the gate of Chuwu, but it has always existed, and we have seen it with our own eyes. So I wonder if the other party is not four tufts of hair, which is why it can survive in many big cleanups. So I deliberately observed ordinary black cattle in the afternoon, and now I probably have the answer. Everyone else's eyes lit up after hearing this. Su Shu directly gave them great hope. After almost two days and one night of waiting, it is finally going to bear fruit. Then everyone stopped complaining and began to crawl along with Su Shu, and finally stopped in the distance of a large group of black cattle. Su Shu stared at an ordinary black cattle that was eating grass. Although the other party looked no different from other ordinary black cattle, Su Shu still saw a different temperament from the other party, just like when they first came in, he could feel the difference of the other party at a glance. Ready. Su Shu shouted, and directly used his supernatural power on the ordinary black cattle. Moo! With a long roar, an ordinary black bull appeared in front of everyone. Then, in the surprised eyes of everyone, the ordinary-sized black bull suddenly began to grow bigger and bigger, and instantly expanded four or five times. At the same time, four tufts of long hair appeared on its buttocks. This old man suddenly changed into the appearance of an ordinary black bull, which caused a group of people to search for so long. It was really too stupid. Hurry up and carry it away, the gate of the alien beast is likely to erupt soon. Su Shu roared. You know, when they caught the Lord Black Bull before, it caused a big riot of black bulls, not to mention that this time they caught the overlord. Everyone was immediately pulled back to their thoughts by Su Shu's roar, and hurried forward to help. One, two, three. In an instant, the huge black bull was lifted up by everyone, and then quickly ran towards the exit. Moo moo moo, moo moo moo. At the same time, a long roar that resounded through the whole alien beast space suddenly came. Rumble. The overwhelming sound of cow hooves resounded in the ears, and the ground was constantly shaking. Moo. The black bull overlord in the hands of several people let out a long and weak roar, and there was obvious panic in the huge bull's eyes. Speed up, 
Su Shu gritted his teeth and roared. At this time, the scene in the alien beast's face also made everyone feel scared, so after hearing Su Shu's roar, everyone unconsciously quickened their pace. Rumble. The sound of cow hooves was getting closer and closer, and the overwhelming black bulls rushed towards this side frantically. People who are often killed by alien beasts know that the real horror of alien beasts is the number. Once they are overwhelmed by such a terrifying number of alien beasts, even transformers will come and trample them into scrap metal. Perhaps only flying gold-level mutants can barely survive. Every time the space gate explodes, the alien beasts in the alien beast space have reached a very terrifying number, and the alien beast space can no longer accommodate them, so an explosion occurs. Every time an explosion occurs, there are countless casualties, and countless buildings and people will be overwhelmed by the overwhelming alien beasts. After they had only run for a few minutes, the herd of black cattle had already flooded in and was close at hand. Boss, what should we do? Will we die if we continue like this? One of them asked with a pale face. He was not joking. This was the experience accumulated by countless senior superpowers with their flesh and blood. Anyone who enters the gate of the beasts is brushing shoulders with death all the time. Su Shu, if I can bring you in, I can bring you out. Don't panic, I will find a way. Villager. After hearing this, the villager laughed the crowd directly. Received, I'm ready. After saying that, he took out a huge red cloth from his arms. If you look closely, you will find that this red cloth is actually made of more than 10 pieces of red belly band sewn and spliced together. When unfolded, it is huge. The villager just ran in another direction with the red cloth. Suddenly, the eyes of all the black cattle turned red, and then suddenly changed direction and chased after the villager. Moo, seeing this scene, the black cattle overlord in the hands of the crowd couldn't help but call out weakly, with despair and sadness in his eyes. Speed up, Su Shu shouted. Boss, don't we wait for him? What should we do with him? Someone asked worriedly. Su Shu, don't worry, he's tough. Everyone looked at the village student running in the sunset with a red cloth, with mixed feelings in their hearts and respect in their eyes. They didn't know the village student's situation, so they naturally thought that the village student was sacrificing himself to save them. Wang Yushan hurriedly reminded. Don't let the village student down, everyone hurry up. After hearing this, the faces of several people straightened and they quickened their pace at the same time. It must be said that this overlord black bull is still heavy. After running for such a short time, it can be clearly felt that it is hard. However, no one thought of giving up, and they all gritted their teeth and persisted. After running for a few more minutes, the black bull group appeared around again. The village student just led away only a part of the black bull group, which was not enough compared to the huge number of black bulls. Hold it steady. Su Shu shouted and let go directly, and then activated his supernatural power. Instantly, the villager wrapped in a red belly band appeared in Su Shu's arms, and then the red cloth was torn off and thrown out. Suddenly, the surrounding black cattle rushed up and directly submerged the red cloth. Su Shu followed the villager with the villager in his arms. However, the red cloth did not delay for long. The black cattle caught up again after they ran for less than a minute. What to do? At this time, everyone was desperate, and some people even wanted to let go of the black cattle overlord and run first. Who is faster or has defensive abilities? Su Shu asked while holding the villager and catching up. Su Shu remembered that there was a defensive ability when he registered, but he didn't pay much attention at the time, so he didn't remember who it was. Me, I'm defensive, one of them said immediately. Su Shu, can you help attract the black cattle? I'll give you extra money. The man didn't hesitate, I'll go. Just remember to use your ability to save me. Because the village student was saved, everyone had a general understanding of Su Shu's ability, so they knew he could save people. Su Shu, of course, not only will I save you, but I'll also take you with me in the future. The man nodded vigorously and let go and walked over. Su Shu tore open the village student's clothes, pulled out a red belly band and handed it to him. Holy shit, how did you know I still have it? Murakuo asked speechlessly. Although his tone was weak, you could hear the surprise in his words. Su Shu, I just want to ask, why are you so keen on wearing red belly bands? Village student, what the hell are you doing? Stop asking about social affairs. 
At this time, the man had already taken the red belly band and rushed directly towards the cattle. His body's superpowers fluctuated wildly. Then, a set of armor with metallic luster slowly covered his body, and then he was submerged in the cattle. Pain continued to spread all over his body, and the man was already pushed into the air. He gritted his teeth and persisted, holding the red belly band tightly in his hands. Su Shu and the others quickened their pace and ran frantically towards the exit. Put me down. I've recovered. Murakami became more serious than ever. Su Shu nodded, put him down directly, and then went to help carry him together. With the two joining in, the others felt much more relaxed. From a distance, I can already see the spatial crack leading to the exit. Everyone seemed to see hope and quickened their pace. Rumble. But at this moment, a dense herd of black cattle rushed over and blocked everyone's way. Seeing this, the village student ran out immediately, gritted his teeth, pulled out a piece of red belly band, and rushed forward. Su Xu and Wang Yushan were speechless. How many red belly bands does this kid have? Su Xu also quickly let go and chased after him. At this time, the black cow at the exit had been led away by the village students. When Su Xu came to the exit, he directly activated his superpower. Suddenly, the man who had just led the black cattle away appeared in Su Xu's arms. At this time, the other party was pale and covered with wounds. At this time, Su Xu didn't care about so much, and threw him out directly. Then he went to meet other people, and finally entered the exit dangerously. Finally, Su Xu used his supernatural power to pick up the village student and carried him out of the gate of strange beasts. Moo, moo, the sound of cattle resounded throughout the strange beast space. Countless black cattle fell into madness and began to rush straight to the exit of the gate of strange beasts, and then poured into it like a tide. Outside, the group went straight to the supernatural military base as soon as they came out. Then Su Xu, carrying the village student, ran out of the gate of strange beasts, and picked up the injured supernatural person in one hand and followed him. Although it was already dusk, the gate of strange beasts was still surrounded by supernatural people. At this time, after seeing the black cattle carried by the group of people, they all cast unbelievable eyes. Everyone can see at a glance that this huge black bull is definitely not an elite, nor a lord, it can only be a hegemon. Hegemon. This can be said to be the first hegemon unearthed from the gate of Chuwu. In historical records, there has been no record of killing the hegemon black bull in many large-scale cleanups of alien beasts. But at this time, it was carried out alive by this group of people. Alive. At this time, Li Yafei and his friends still did not leave and were standing in the crowd. They originally planned to leave yesterday, but after seeing Su Xu and his friends enter the gate of alien beasts again, they were extremely unwilling and simply stayed. The first reason was to see what Su Xu and his friends were going to do, and the second was to kill a few more black bulls and get more black iron alien beast crystal cores. After all, the few people were forced back by the noise made by Su Xu and his friends the previous few times they entered, and in fact, they didn't hunt any. As a result, after hunting for a day, they still didn't see Su Xu and his friends come out. So some people gloated that Su Xu and his friends should stay in there forever. The reason they stayed here was to make sure whether Su Xu and his friends really died in there. If they still didn't come out tonight, they would probably be dead. As a result, Su Xu and his friends came out carrying a black bull, and their eyes almost popped out. Among them, Li Yafei had the most complicated and the lowest mood. Originally, she also had a share of this honor, but now she has become a bystander. Thinking about it carefully, what Su Xu did to her in school was actually nothing. Looking back, it was like a joke to her. As a result, she always looked down on him, so that she said such words, which led to her being isolated from the team. Now look at the four or five crystal cores like alien beasts that she just hunted the black bull, and then look at the huge black bull that they are carrying. A huge sense of gap descended on her heart, making her feel endless regret. With his superpowers, if he doesn't have good teammates to cooperate with, it may be difficult to hunt the overlord beast even if he graduates from college. You know, a overlord beast is equivalent to the strength of a gold level superpower. Even if she graduates from college, can she reach the gold level? Obviously not. Even if she does, it is not easy to hunt the overlord beast, let alone catch it alive. After careful calculation, 
the gap between her and Su Xu is already a huge gap. Huang Shijun was also upset. He awakened double SS level superpowers. He was originally a favored child of heaven, and was the focus of everyone's attention. Wherever he went, he was shining. But since he transferred to Luo in superpower, everything has changed. He was suppressed by Su Xu everywhere. There is obviously a huge gap between the two, and this time it is even more obvious. Under the attention of everyone, Su Xu hurriedly ran forward, shouting while running, Wait for me, the superpower time is almost over. But because the crowd was too noisy, Wang Yushan and his group didn't hear it at all. Mu, suddenly, the overlord Black Bull suddenly opened his mouth and let out a loud roar, then stood up straight. The terrifying supernatural power fluctuations on his body burst out instantly, and the supernatural power fluctuations seemed to have formed a substance, directly pushing away a group of people around him. Brother Shu, why didn't you remind me earlier? The villager on Su Shu's shoulder couldn't help but speak when he saw this. Just as Su Shu was about to speak, a dense group of black cattle suddenly rushed out of the gate of strange beasts behind him. Moo, moo. The crowd panicked instantly when they saw this, and the scene suddenly became a mess. At this time, Su Xu didn't care about anything else, and hurriedly threw the villager aside, and then used supernatural powers on the recovered black bull overlord. Fortunately, the other party didn't have much time to recover, so it didn't cause any substantial damage. At the moment when the other party wanted to launch a collision, Su Xu directly pulled him back with supernatural powers and the place where the other party fell was just above the villager. At this time, the village student was still weak and had no way to avoid it. Su Shu, are you murdering me? Then he felt a black screen in front of his eyes and was pressed down. In the chaos, Wang Yushan and the others ran back. What surprised Su Shu was that no one was missing. After all, the black cattle herd behind them was about to flood this place, and they came back regardless of life and death, which was very precious. Then everyone lifted up the black cattle overlord together and continued to run towards the base of the superpower army. The village student finally saw the light of day again, and at the same time he recovered, and hurriedly got up to help lift it. Moo moo, moo moo, rumble, the screams of countless black cows came from behind. Under the rampage of the densely packed black cows, the buildings in front of the alien beast gate collapsed one after another. Deafening sounds continued to ring in the ears, accompanied by the screams of superpowers. This is the terror that breaks out at the gate of alien beasts. After countless alien beasts come out, they will run rampant regardless of anything, and countless humans will be drowned by the tide of alien beasts. This is a competition between the two ethnic groups, an eternal hostility with no possibility of easing. Every outbreak of the alien beast gate is a horrific disaster. The gate of Cho Wu is still a relatively low-level gate of alien beasts, and is still within the controllable range. And the outbreak of some very high-level alien beast gates is uncontrollable, and that is the real disaster for mankind. Compared with the huge number of alien beast gates and alien beasts, human supernatural beings are actually not enough. This is also the reason why it is forbidden for all superpowers to fight with each other. Every superpower cannot afford to lose. At this time, snowflakes suddenly appeared in the sky, looking so out of place in this sunny weather. Countless black cows suddenly stopped and looked up at the sky, and then they turned into ice sculptures. Brother Shu, why do I feel like I've seen this scene before? Murakuo asked, looking up at the sky. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.